Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Raw Law Unfiltered with your favorite host of the UI Guy Plus on your favorite channel on the internet. Today, we are going to be talking about the continuation of our What the Hails saga. Uh, of course, today we have a very, very, very special continuation because this is a first look of the redacted portion of Lynette's petition for uh, stalking, the injunction for stalking. Now, the reductions, again, just to remind you all, are solely made for purposes of protecting the individuals that she herself names in her injunction and the petition. Uh, the only things that I have removed, and my girlfriend, shout out to you, Remy Legal, go and subscribe to her channel as well, R-E-M-Y underscore L-E-G-A-L, Remy Legal. Uh, she's going to be on my show tonight at 8 p.m. We're going to interview Aiden Kearney, a.k.a. Turtle Boy, by the way. So tune in for that. But um, she has been meticulously redacting, just making sure, you know, if there are any children being named, if there are any uh, uh, individuals who are being named by first name, last name. We just we just want to protect the people so that they're not uh, named uh, in the petition. Since I'm going through very, very sensitive documents. These are very, very sensitive documents. And we just want to make sure we protect everybody and we don't expose uh, Jeremy Hales and open him up to liability. And of course, uh, we want, we, this is the part we want to expose is the bullshit that Lynette has been feeding everyone. And, uh, that's what we're here for. We're here for transparency. We're here for, uh, accountability and we're here for, just just a basic, um, you know, truth. Is that so much to ask? We just want the truth. So if Judge DeThomasis is not going to do this for the Haleses, we're going to do it. So if Judge DeThomasis doesn't want to be the judge on the case, we will be the judge. Okay? So let's go. If you all remember, we stopped on page, um, I think it was like 49 or excuse me, like 39 or 40. Uh, she was citing uh, videos. She was citing videos and uh, uh, quoting Jeremy. And again, uh, there was only one point that I thought was hilarious. That was the the cannon being pointed at her house with the cannon is like literally this big. And uh, she's like, ah, he's pointing your cannon at my home. And I'm like, Lady, you need to get a life. Uh, that was the only thing that really made me laugh. Everything else was just bullshit. It's boring, stupid, and bullshit. So let's keep going. Let's see if she's got any substance in the next. Uh, I'm going to try and cover. So we have we have a grand total of uh, just under 400 pages. And believe it or not, we're only 40 pages in. But I think it's about to speed up. So it's not going to be like 10 videos, you know, 40 pages per video. Thank God. Otherwise, you know, we'd be here forever. But I'm going to try and move fast through to finishing up the initial. So this is the initial 50-page petition that she filed on September, uh, what was it? September 7th, right? So just to show you guys, this is the original. And this is the original. Let me go back to the very, 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 very beginning. As you can see, September 3rd, uh, excuse me, September 7th, 2023. There it is at the top right-hand corner. Levy. Uh, clerk of court stamped and it's the redacted version we have gone through to about page like i said 39 so let me go back find my spot and there it is there it is remember uh page 39 we found a very interesting fact that it, it, for about 20 pages she drones on talking about how jeremy did this jeremy did that jeremy did this jeremy did that and look at that Look at that. It's not dated. It is not signed. It has absolutely no merit, no substance. It could be lies. It could be hearsay. It could be whatever you want. She submitted this under the penalty of perjury saying, I, I'm not, a, I, I don't, I don't subscribe to this. Basically, I've, I'm not going to sign this and I'm not going to date it. Because I don't believe, basically, I don't believe any of that is true. That is literally what she's saying. And how many pages did she go on for? Let's count. Because this, this whole petition, see the statements? This is a statement of facts and evidence log by Lynette Michelle Preston, August 2023, right? 
Look at this page. This is page one. Count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, and seventeen. Seventeen pages of her initial fifty-page petition. Seventeen. What is that? Is that one? Is that's exactly one third, isn't it? Yeah, it's exactly one third. So one third of her entire petition, she's like, I don't believe in myself. No signature, no date. I'm not authenticating this. I don't believe in this. This is her stuff. I, you can't make this stuff up. This is this is her submission. This is the original with the redactions. So 17 pages. There it is at the bottom. 17 pages. I could have just looked down. <laughs> Oops. Sometimes it's, sometimes it's as simple as that. Just scrolling down the page, Larry. Sometimes all you have to do is scroll down the page. But anyway, we counted. Now we have double the proof. We have it's it seven says 17 at the bottom for this portion of her petition, and we count it together. We know it's 17 pages. Okay. Additional video evidence. Additional video evidence. Let's see what she's got to say in this initial. We have about 10 pages left of this, and then we're gonna go to the supplemental that was filed on December the 4th. Again, shout out to you, uh, girlfriend, Chandler. Love you, babe. She's been working very diligently on this, and she's got tons of other stuff to do, and I'm just like, I need you. And she's like, I got you. It's it's, it's a symbiotic relationship. We take care of each other. Uh, additional video, evidence. Number one, cops called on bad neighbors going to court. YouTube link, August 30th, 2023. Jeremy outlines the things that he thinks Lynette and John have done to them. Okay. It's no surprise, I guess this is a quote from Jeremy's video, it's no surprise that the cops have been called on our bad neighbors. There's a lot of things going on that aren't okay. They've stalked us to Otter Creek, which I think by now we all know is true. They've pulled firearms out on us. Uh, they've been harassing us in the adult nature. I don't know what that means, but Jeremy can probably fill you in, Jeremy Hales. Uh, they've crossed state lines contacted our mayor at our home oh that is delicious have you guys ever had this stuff shout out not sponsored but the pellegrino essenza it's like dark morello cherry and pomegranate i've never had this particular one and it is delicious of course from my my favorite cup uh we're gonna have some uh some hashtag buckle up mugs coming up soon so be on the lookout for those hashtag buckle up mugs are gonna be coming up soon um okay uh, adult nature, they've crossed state lines, contacted our mayor at our home here at Hale's headquarters. That's where they screwed up big time. They took all the issues to, of Florida and they brought them to Ohio. Somebody once said truth is like poetry. By the way, just real quick, don't forget to like this video, comment below, subscribe to the channel. Of course, hit that notification bell so that you get notified when new videos come uh, to light. And of course, don't forget to join on as a member. And if you have questions, I will read Super Chats at the end of the video. So we should be going a good uh, two, three hours today, easily. We're probably going to go three hours, and then we're going to have uh, Aiden Kearney on at 8 uh, Eastern. So right now it's 410. We've got another at least two and a half hours minimum that we're going to be doing this for. So buckle up, buttercup. Buckle up, buttercup. Somebody sent me, a uh, not a video, uh, a, a, a message. They're like, my four-year-old has been running around the house going, buckle up, buttercup. <laughs> I'm like, that is the funniest thing I've ever heard. That is good for you. Good for you, young young minds being influenced in the proper way. Because one day they're going to grow up and be like, why do I have this in my memory? But hashtag buckle up. Oh, it's this, this weird, unruly judge who is violating the Constitution. I like my Constitution, so <laughs> screw these judges. Uh, Jeremy, number two, Jeremy gives his YouTube followers the birth dates of Lynette and John. Also, he gives out the information of their property in Otter Creek. Ooh, scary. The birthdays are being disseminated. Preston, that's it. That's it. All the names she gave you. We got 39. I, I'm shocked. Uh, okay, date of birth redacted. John Michael Crook, man. I wish there was an... You know, in there, I really wish there was an R in there. <laughs> All right. Uh, date of birth redacted. The address for the property listed on both of the uh, drivers of both of the subject's driver's licenses was redacted. The property appraiser had the address as redacted. They owned redacted acres of property. Jeremy admits, number three, that he has sent things 
that Lynette has posted to Fish and Wildlife to quote unquote follow up on the previous complaint. Despite the fact that she still has time on the 90 day deadline to complete the tasks given to her by the officer, Jeremy said that they were going to send photos and other things saying that there will be more action with law enforcement, quote unquote, because he is making sure of it. Quote, you either get rid of some of them or get rid of all of them because you're not taking care of it. There's going to be a few, there's going to be few future law enforcement actions. So we already know there's going to be future law enforcement action because we even though we didn't make this report, we have sent the follow-up of she's posted this picture, she's posted this, we posted this. So there's been a follow-up. And I was sent in regards to this, Turtle Sanctuary, there will be more action in this law enforcement. And then number two. Hurricane Idalia headed for corrupt town. August 29th, 2023. There's the video link. Number one, Jeremy says, if the people of Otter Creek did the right thing, quote unquote, that they would go to Lynette's property and quote, release every animal right now, unquote. That's probably a true statement from based on everything we've learned. Be because she was not home and is in the hospital during the hurricane. Okay, so if you run a sanctuary, hold on a second. Did she just call herself out? Folks, if you run a sanctuary of endangered animals or non-endangered animals, and you know that there's a hurricane coming, would you not have your employees protect? Like, I'm going to be in the hospital. Can you please take care? We, 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 a hurricane's coming. We need to protect our animals. And she just admitted, no, 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 I was in the hospital, so I could not protect them. What about John? What about all their other employees? She's not the only one taking care of the sanctuary, right? She literally just admitted to neglecting her own tortoises in her own petition. Not a smart move. Not a smart move at all, Lynette. You literally call, I mean, forget the whole pot calling the kettle black. You just literally admitted she was not home and she was in the hospital. So she was not able to take care of the tortoises. I That makes me very, very upset. Because tortoises are animals, and animals need to be taken care of. And if you are irresponsible to where you cannot take care of these animals, then either give them to somebody else or don't have them. Like, <laughs> this doesn't make any sense. This doesn't make any sense. Somebody just wrote, she's the sole worker. So what, John is unable to help at all? Okay, there are no employees. What about John? I'm sorry. Okay, so if you are in and out of the hospital and you're incapable of taking care of the tortoises, find somebody that when you're in the hospital, pay them and be like, hey, take care of my tortoises. Now you're going to say, well, she has no money. I already know, chat. You're, I know where you're going with this, but like, come on, man. Then, then, then Okay, then maybe the, a turtle sanctuary is not for you. If you don't have the money, you can't take care of them. You're unable to, to take care of them. When you're in the hospital constantly, you're unable to, to make sure that they're safe. I'm sorry. This is crazy. You can't have your cake and eat it too, Lynette. Pick one. Now I know what you're thinking. All right, Jeremy. Well, this is from the video. What about the turtles? You mean you mean the rescue and the the turtles? Well, they have not been rescued. As a matter of fact, they've been completely and totally abandoned. They are all alone, all on their own, with nothing and no one taking care of them and no one to help them to safety. If a surge comes in, the reality is that turtle rescue is not a rescue. If the people of Otter Creek did the right thing, excuse me, they would go over and release every animal right now so that they can live through this horrific hurricane that's coming through. Number two, Jeremy tells his fans to contact the Social Security Administration to report Lynette working around her homestead and claiming disability at the same time. That is a crime, lady. And if that is correct, good for Jeremy. Other turtles go, good question. And you may be thinking, well, did anybody report that the fishing game? Yes, we know specifically that they took that post that Lynette, again, incriminating herself again and reported that yet again, to fishing game and wildlife control and saying, hey, this is abuse of the animals and there's no doubt there's abuse of those animals. They're not cared for and they're not, uh, the habitats are not geez. I mean, just let them go. Just let the animals go. Let the tortoise go. 
hashtag let my people go hashtag let my tortoise go <laughs> um let my people go all right you ready musical number incoming go down jeremy go down to lynette's sanctuary tell old lynette and john to let my tortoise go <laughs> all right <laughs> let the animals go this hurricane maybe the best ever releasing them into the wild the way that god created them to actually live this may be the best thing ever for these animals their best uh, uh candace bingham say I, I don't understand how she get a disability check and is able to build a bathroom i've seen seven level fusion uh, can't sit for more than 30 minutes and if i try to lift a brick i'd suffer for days unfortunately i survived because I take opioids that the doctor prescribes. I don't know how she's able to do all this physical things because that, that she brags about, but she still collects social security disability checks. Well, Candace, we agree with you. We honestly believe, and it is our belief that she's continuing to abuse and use the system in any way she possibly can. We also know that she has posted pictures of her drug test. And we've said this before. We're going to say it again. It tested positive for opioids and something else I still have to look it up. Okay, so we know for sure she has got prescribed opioids as well, just like you do. Now, how do you get around doing all these things and bragging about it and holding three-year-old at the time? I guess the daughter was three and standing for hours on end and doing all those things that you do when you when I'm talking about standing for hours on and count all she's she's cowering over in the corner by the door to run out as fast as possible standing like this for hours on end with her phone going off because shark keeps messaging her and then she's yelling at her phone to tell shark to stop she's screwing up my phone I mean it's ridiculous of it all H does she how does this all and still collect social security disability in uh, uh how honestly i think that's something the fans should contact the appropriate authorities and ask that same question how is she on ssdi when all of these things that she's claiming to do there are plenty of people in the world who have posted and been seen all over doing work that they're supposed to not be able to do and then ssdi gets taken away because of it because it's a scam they con they use they abuse the system my opinion uh, says jeremy that's exactly what's happening with these then George enters. From what she's posted, John uh, does not qualify for Social Security. What he's doing is he's collecting on his dead ex-wife. Whoa. Social Security, which is why they're no longer married. Because it was going to dip into his Social Security benefits if they remain married. Question is, did he do it? Oh, that explains it. That explains it. See, I was wondering why John and Lynette were not married. It seems like they're all but married. And, um, you know, this is Florida and Florida is not a common law marriage state. So you can't like prove that they're that they're a married couple, um, unfortunately. But that's what that, I think that's what John is doing. Now it explains why John and Lynette are not married. They're not married because John would lose his a portion of because when you're married you know you rely on the other person as well for income and so if lynette has any type of income from the sanctuary his ssdi check would dip so wherever he's getting he would get less so let's say if he's getting i don't know a thousand dollars a month he would get six hundred dollars a month or four hundred dollars or three hundred and in order to get the maximum benefit from the government he is uh and he's collecting on his ex-wife if that's true, that's that's also a crime, by the way, John. That is a crime if you are doing that. Um, so don't do it. And if you get caught, I feel no no sympathy for you. None. None whatsoever. Uh, George, number three. George claims she fears the handful of supporters of Lynette. This shows that they are fully aware that supporters will commit dangerous acts for the people they follow. No, it doesn't. It depends who your followers are, but okay. Jennifer wants to know from you, are you afraid? Absolutely. Even up here in Ohio, 
I still fear for my life more so if when we go back down to Florida driving past their property, I have to fear for my life because they do have a small handful of supporters that we don't know what we, we don't know what they're going to do when we're out and people are looking for us. I don't know what they're thinking, if they're a what the hell's fan, if they're a what the hell's hater. I fear for my life every day because of those two. Jeremy interge interjects and let's be clear, birds of a feather flock together. Number four, Jeremy says that the town will soon act on removing Lynette and her family. Jeremy says that there is so much in the works and something will and is going to happen, quote unquote, insinuating that he know that the new mayor and vice mayor is going to act against Lynette and her family on his behalf. <laughs> oh my God, this is so fucking stupid. Oh, Lynette, what are you doing? Scott wants to know... Can the state come in and remove them for having a sanctuary in the town? Well, that's a really good question. Um, there are, is no doubt there's going to be a local government involved in this, but it looks like God may actually do this, an act of God. The hurricane may come in and remove the sanctuary because the Lord will knows and the Lord shall come down and smite thee with furious anger. Uh, that's, uh, <laughs> that's from Pulp Fiction. For you know I am the Lord. Uh, they did nothing to remove the animal or to protect the animal. So can the state come in? Well, first of all, the state would probably have to go ahead and de defer to the county. And the county is deferring to the town. And the town used to have all the agreements with the county to come in and do all the enforcement. Now the town is going to be implementing all the enforcement. So really the reality is it's going to be the town. And it's going to be very soon. They'll be enforcing everything, removing everything. And what does that mean for her? So you go, well, what does a town, does a town have a, cop does a town have to do this uh do they have that no they don't let my tortoise go uh but they do have the power to enforce the actual ordinances and the laws the county has the law that no turtle or reptile zoo farm sanctuary rescue whatever can be within uh we've already shared all this before we've shared all those actual laws with you guys in other videos and you can go, let my turtle go um, through the playlist and find all of that. So the county already has it. Hashtag buckle up, Lynette and Judge the Thomases. Now uh, the town will have to come in and actually enforce it. And then the county can get involved as well. And if something still happens, yeah, potentially the state can come in. But there's not uh, there's so much more in the works. And this isn't like in the works, like Lynette goes, oh, I'm waiting on a piece of paper. It's going to change everything. No, that's not in the works. That We're actually talking about reality. Something will and is going to happen, says Jeremy. Number five. <laughs> Wait, Larry, you need to go into act. Hey, I keep... You guys, when when Remy uh, when Remy Legal Chandler, my girlfriend, joins in, I keep telling her she needs to get me an agent. So she lived in in California for her whole life in Los Angeles, uh, the city of angels, Los Angeles. She's Angelesian, Ang Ang is that what it? I forget. Anyway, I keep telling her she needs to get me an agent. I'd love to go into acting. So thank you, Lori. That's that's literally been my my dream. One day, one day. One day, number five, Jeremy talks about the adoption of blank, not being legal because he has never seen any adoption paperwork. Have quite a bit more information than we've had had before. And so I'm going to defer to George on this one to discuss. This is how she was able to actually adopt. So from our understanding, this was a private adoption, which is different from your typical adoption. And from our understanding is that guardianship paperwork was warded. However, adoption paperwork wasn't legit because the biological father did not sign the paperwork. So the question still arises, is the adoption legal or not legal? Uh, how she got to be adopted. And by the way, just for the record, she's writing all this stuff. Like he's accusing us of this and he's accusing us of this and he's accusing us of this. I have not seen a single rebuttal. Like John's legitimate paperwork for social security is right here. He is not collecting on his ex-wife. There is the proof. Uh, oh, adoption paperwork. Here's the proof. Here's the proof that the adoptive father was okay with it or it's not necessary. It's, it's all like everything he's saying, make him stop saying these things, but there's no contra argument. Like here's the proof that he's wrong. Here's the proof that he's Jeremy's lying. Here's the proof that Jeremy is not being truthful. Here's the proof that there's no proof. There's zero proof. It's just it's just accusations of Jeremy being this and that. And that's it. And that's really, that's all you've got, lady? 
disappointed. I'm highly disappointed in your analysis. Uh, the father did not sign the paperwork. So the question still arises, is the adoption legal or not legal? How she got to be adopted over other deserving parents that should have gotten a baby. She allegedly met the biological family on Facebook and conned the family into giving her a child. The day that she was born and there was other family members involved that did this secretly behind biological family that have siblings of the child that she should have been with. So that's what she knows of how she got the adoption because it was private. It was a private adoption. If it's even legal, all right, private adoption versus so private adoption, what she means is and what from back, there's so much to unpack here, so much to unpack here. All right, so this is a private adoption, which we do not believe, excuse me, is a legal adoption by any stretch of the imagination was done because as George already said, Lynette met a woman in a Facebook group. And so how was she able to get an adoption? We don't believe it's legal. As a matter of fact, I think I'm going to be I think it's going to be contested very, very soon, whether it's actually legal or not. And by the way, if you're illegally adopting children from other people who don't know what you're going to be using them for, and you use children for nefarious purposes, such as your own monetary personal gain, and you use children in any capacity, you're a fucking scumbag in my book, and you should die and rot in fucking hell. Okay, there I said it. If that's the truth, if that's the truth, then I stand by my statement. Jeremy tells his fans to come to Otter Creek, but do not, quote unquote, interact inappropriately with the true town resident, but then says that Lynette is not a true resident. Well, because she followed him and stalked him to Otter Creek, right? He tells his fans that his fans, sorry, he tells his fans that it is okay to go and visit Lynette's property. Listen, Otter Creek is an open town to anybody. At any time, you can come to Otter Creek. You drive through. You can see that Otter Creek is real. The people are real. You can drive by the schoolhouse. You see that it's real. I could say one thing. Please do not interact inappropriately with the town residency. That's that's good stuff. And I emphasize on true and with emphasis on true town residents. I'm not sure there's one individual in that town that could claim Lynette and John Crook uh, uh, as true town residents. So by all means, go visit the Turtle Sanctuary. Just remember... It's not open to the public, except she keeps posting that. So she has a turtle sanctuary. She says it's open to the public, but it's not open to the public. Interesting. Number three, the town demands answers. How could this happen? There's the YouTube link. Number one, Jeremy and George admits to having what he calls moles. Here, mole, 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 mole. Who are communicating with them and Lynette on her Facebook pages? This shows that Jeremy Hales and George are stalking Lynette's. You ever heard of research, lady? Why is everything stalking? Lynette's private. So, okay. So, every single ex girlfriend I ever had who has been following and investigating my social media has been stalking me. I mean, now that they're exes, maybe, right? Um, Anyway, that's a joke. Lynette's private Facebook page and has other people, moles, doing the same to return him information. That is that is life, you idiot. George also admits to calling Child Protective Services and telling them about all the outlandish things she's posting on social media. Okay, shout out in the chat. How many of you have either heard of or read the book um, The Art of War by Sun Tzu? Okay, right now, shout out in the chat. How many of you have either read or listened to an audio tape? Because I listen to my books on audio tape a lot of the times as I'm driving and stuff like that. This book called The Art of War by Sun Tzu. The book is literally like, I think, 6,000 years old. When did Sun Tzu live? Oh, uh, uh, never mind. I'm sorry. I'm way off the mark. 2,500 years ago. I thought it was right. China, China. I was thinking Egypt for some reason. My brain went somewhere else. It's hard to jump topics in your brain when you're doing multiple things at once. So excuse me for that. 2,500 years. 2,500 years ago, he wrote this book. And in chapter 14, one of the precepts of war, because what John and Lynette and Jeremy and George have is in their own way, kind of like a mini war between them. They're neighbors now. They, there's no escape. They have to constantly deal. I, I use the word war metaphorically, of course. They're not going into battle, sending cavalry and, and shooting bow and arrow and, and firing muskets and all that. You know, uh, it, it's, a, it's a metaphor for they're at war because Lynette is posting defamatory statements about Jeremy. Jeremy wants to get her to stop. Now she's defaming him more. Now she's accusing him. All that stuff going on. 
chapter 14, chapter 14 of Sun Says the Art of War, I believe it's chapter 14, it's the last chapter, literally talks about spies, how essential it is when you go into battle. And remember, that book is not just about war. It is a metaphor for everything. You can use it in your relationships. You can I use it in my practice. Uh, when I go to court, I use it in my own personal life. I use it with friends. I use it with my frenemies. I use it on my enemies. You know, it's 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 universal. You can you can use it in in love as well and relationships. You know, uh, when you understand what the book is really about, you know, it's not just about spending silver on soldiers. It's it's way way beyond that. And chapter fourteen talks about using. Um, Spies, the use of spies. I believe the name of the chapter is the use of spies. What's wrong with sending moles, spies to retrieve information for you? Actually, battles have been won throughout history. Shout out in the chat if you if you can name one battle in history right now off the top of your head that spies literally turned the tides. I think there was a battle in the Civil War, not, not the Battle of Gettys Gettysburg, uh, there was a battle uh, even here on, on our own turf during the, the 19th century, you know, 1864, 1865, where the use of spies literally turned the tides. Um, it, one, one side was getting ready to lose and one side was tides on them. Um, oh, the enigma, of course. Oh, come on. I could have. Yes. Yes, but it's a little different. It's a little different. You're not, they didn't like send the spy that brought information, but essentially they were spying on them. Bingo. World War II, you guys. World War II, the Trojan horse. Um, well, Ukraine versus Russia is still ongoing, so I wouldn't say that. World War II. World War II is literally the best example. You guys are amazing. That's exactly, that is the best example I can think of. World War II, by cracking the Enigma machine, deciphering what German messages are being sent. If you haven't seen the movie Imitation Game with Bender, Benedict Cumberbatch and Kira Knightley, by the way, you're missing out. Go check that movie out. It's incredible. Um, so the Enigma machine, they cracked the Enigma machine. They were able to spy. They won the war. And there you go. So that what's wrong with that? There's nothing wrong with it. Lunan is now claiming that her Instagram account has been hacked. And that's how we've been gaining information. Well, let's back up a little bit. This is not the first time Lynette has actually claimed that she's been hacked. As a matter of fact, she has a tortoise that was dying. And she went on, and we have screenshots of all of this. Okay? She went on with her talk to text, thinking she was talking to John, talking about the tortoise is going to die. And just like that, she had no clue that didn't go to John. And that was publicly posted on Facebook. This woman is a moron. To her turtle rescue, her turtle rescue page of all places. And then she backpedals and starts to post that a YouTuber hacked her account. Of course, of course, it, it, unable to accept responsibility, take accountability for anything. Okay, well, I can confirm that this YouTuber, you know what I'm going to confirm or deny anything, but I will confirm that that post was her own stupidity. I agree. Now that she definitely has moles, and now that she is acknowledging. Uh, she definitely has moles. She's making up stories. Well, my Instagram got hacked. All right, George, do the moles communicate with Lynette through Instagram or Facebook? They're owned by the same company, Meta, but whatever. From what I can tell and from what I've observed, the moles all communicate with her through Facebook. Okay, and Lynette communicates with them through Facebook. Her Instagram, Instagram account has absolutely nothing to do with any of the moles. Her Instagram account was public at one point in time, and then we called uh, Child Protective Services on her and told her of, uh, of all the outlandish things she's posting on social media. That's when she changed the settings from public to private. So she wasn't hacked. She just accidentally posted the truth to the wrong place. And uh, <laughs> that's, that's hilarious. That is so freaking funny. How stupid do you have to be, Lynette? You're trying to send a message to John and you post for all the world to see that your tortoise is dying. You can't make this stuff up, folks. You cannot make this stuff up. She did this to herself, and I should feel sorry for her. I feel no sympathy, none. Um, Jeremy is insinuating that he is seeking to purchase the mineral rights on Lynette and John's land. Okay, if he has a legal right to it, what is the problem? So, for example, at our, if he doesn't, then he won't. So, for example, at our Florida ranch, we own the mineral rights. I would never in a million years buy a piece of property that I don't 
don't own the mineral rights on. And that just goes to prove how foolish they were and how lack of intelligence they have in purchasing property. They just thought we were going to come in and save the day for, for them financially, which they never got a penny from us. Uh, never, ever. Thankfully, we own all of our mineral rights. They don't own any of them. Do you want to take a guess who's in the midst right now trying to buy them? I think, by the way, a lot of the times I've noticed Jeremy likes to kind of exaggerate the truth a little bit, which there's nothing wrong with it. It's not even exaggerating the truth. He likes to be flashy. He likes to be a little flashy. He's like, guess what we're going to do? We're going to buy her land. We're going to take her land. And it's, it's like he's egging on a response from her. He's not really going after her. So this is all... What is it called? It's not exaggeration. It's flashiness. He likes to be flashy. And you know what? I, I can respect the man who, who's going to be flashy. Jeremy doesn't even want her property. I, I'm betting. I, I bet you I bet you any money. John doesn't want uh, John. Uh, Jeremy doesn't want uh, Lynette and John's property. All he wants, all he wants is a reaction from them. Because the more he pokes the bear, the more she reacts. And now she's like, he's trying to, he's trying to take my land. You know, that's like the South Park episode. They took our land, took our land. Of course, they used the uh, jobs in that. They took our jobs. So she's like, they trying to take my land. <laughs> uh, number three, Jeremy explains that in order to keep a calm head in his situation, they laugh at it. Then Jeremy claims that he is somehow also afraid. They also total disregard that Lynette and her family are not laughing. Lynetta? Who's Lynetta? Did she misspell her own name in her own petition? <laughs> Lynetta. Who's Lynetta? Oh, my God, you guys. Again, you can't make this stuff up. It's right here in front of you. Jeremy explains that in order to keep a calm head in this situation, they laugh at it. Then George claims that she is somehow also afraid. They show total disregard that Lynetta and her family are not laughing. Patrick wants to know how the Hales have you kept a calm head on your shoulders over all of this. I know you're doing it the right way. Patrick, I mean completely and total transparency with you. Everything in Otter Creek, everything with bad neighbors. We laugh. I mean, it's like real like comedy. How often do we laugh daily about it? We laugh about it. It's serious, but in reality, how I handle it is through prayer because I'm terrified to go back to Otter Creek, especially when we have to drive past the property from the schoolhouse to our ranch. I feel for him. We have to drive past the property. Uh, there's no other way around it. And so, but whose mineral rights do we have to drive past? We have to drive past right now. It's in limbo right now. It is in limbo. So a lot of us, all we do is we laugh about it. It's now That's how you cope with it. That's how I cope with pain myself is humor. That's my coping mechanism. Uh, and now George is very, very clear. But what is definitely is as well as humorous, We've seen some of the funniest things we've ever seen in our life right now. I think a lot of the What the Hales fans and their sarcastic remarks to either her, John, or this joke list, it's pretty funny. It's very funny if you have a sense of humor and you understand sarcasm. Yeah, no doubt about that. Number four, Jeremy outlines the things that they are claiming in the civil harassment, including sexual restraining order petition they filed against Lynette and John. Jeremy speaks about how it is harassment, while Jeremy seems to enjoy the attention from another man. What? However, adult males using vulgar words during their verbal sparring does not rise to the level of sexual harassment. Now she's defending herself by calling herself out again and John? What? Gail wants to know, can we file harassment charges against John Crook and says that's just gross. Well, there's no doubt about it. John Crook is extremely gross. The vulgar things that he has said about my anatomy the vulgar things he has said. I mean, this is like a verbal sparring over here. The vulgar things he has said about his anatomy with George. It's beyond the point of uh, gross. It's appalling. It is harassment. There's no doubt about it. So we can file. Yeah, absolutely. You also have to understand that that's going to carry weight in different states as well. We kind of touched base on that already. One state's going to take it extremely seriously, like Ohio. Another state's going to be lackadaisical about it. Oh, that's a word I haven't, I haven't heard in a while. Like Florida lackadaisical about it so we can file the answer is absolutely we can file harassment charges now in my opinion now i'm going to ask george who who's a who do you think john crook has harassed in that adult form more me or you at this point 
in this at this point he's obsessed with my backyard giggity and i ain't talking about the one at the end of my driveway giggity giggity goo definitely more so you are literally obsessed with what's in my backyard giggity and listen i get it well not only what not only that why does an adult man need to tell another adult man to suck his privates that's disgusting in front of a three-year-old no less oh dear god like even in front of a three-year-old now I, I get it my milkshake brings all the boys to the yard and they're like it's better than yours damn right it's better than yours i could teach you but i have to charge and there are boys i don't want the yard and as a matter of fact why we have no trespassing signs and yet we want to continue push that on to push that envelope so that you have harassment on the adult level and then you have trespassing you're going to have multiple lists uh, of other things as well as well because cyber stalking has already been brought up and in florida these things they just go in limbo and like yeah whatever wait till something serious happens in ohio there is no plane there's no joke it's dealt with immediately before something extremely serious happens Jeremy explains why he's working to hurt Lynette and her family, number five. She's hoping is just to try and make more Jeremy haters because remember, hated people hate people. Uh, now, I could say hurt people hurt people. Now you also have to understand that she keeps saying, oh, Jeremy's only doing all this because hurt people hurt people. No, Jeremy's doing this because you're a horrific person. You're a horrible person. We let you get away with it for six years months before saying anything or doing anything and then you want to cry and that you're being victimized you're being bullied no you fool is what you are uh these are the consequences for what you did and what you got away with and now you have to live with it every single day of your life number six george speaks of understanding why lynette finally we got her name right lynette got her own name right why lynette is having trouble keeping up with the work on the land Whatever it is that she thought in her head, the logical thing, I, I don't understand the logic in her head of why she moved there. All the money she's spending on the property that she overpaid for when she could have bought land with an existing home already versus all of this hassle that she's going on through knowing that she's uh, on disability and has back problems, neck problems, knee problems, and can't do all this work on her own. You know, I, I tend to agree with him. Jeremy states that, number seven, Jeremy states that he has not gone too far in harassing Lynette and John. Uh, you've gone too far, says John, uh, excuse me, says Jeremy. No, I haven't. Uh, maybe you think I have. She's still there. The child is still in danger. The townspeople are still in danger. The animals are still in danger. I haven't gone far enough. And it's just the beginning. The video was stopped at this point in his speech. Jeremy expresses that he wants Lynette to do more. Listen, anything we can add to this is, uh, in the state of Ohio, we will be adding to it this woman self-incriminates, and I got to say, I'm not disappointed. I actually love it. I wish you would do more if it, the more she does, the sooner it ends. Okay, well, that's, that's true. Where's the problem? Uh, that looks like a screenshot. Wednesday, September 8th. How does she have a screenshot in a petition that was filed on September 7th? And she has a screenshot of September 8th. She has a, Does she have a time machine? This was posted on What the Hails. If you use a futon frame as a gate, you might be a turtle dump. Make sure to wipe your feet on the mat in front of the gate. They like to keep things clean around here. That's it for this one. Okay, let's go to the next one. So this is the 338, you heard that correctly. Now, a lot of it we're going to be able to skip through. Obviously, we're not going to be reading 338 pages, pages of, of garbage, um, but there is enough here to, because she filed this again. Now we're... Uh, we're a couple of months, no, we're a month and a half removed, okay? Let me scroll down a little bit so you guys can start reading.
Look at this. Levy County, Florida, Lynette MLA Preston, case number October 23rd, excuse me, October 30th, 2023. So it's almost two months. Jeremy Hales, supplemental. This is the supplemental affidavit in support of petition for injunction for protection against stalking. She checked stalking. There's some boxes here. Domestic violence, no. Repeat violence, no. Dating violence, no. Sexual violence, no. Stalking. I... Oh, and by the way, at the end of that um, last petition that we finished, 50 pages worth, at the very end, there was another uh, potential avenue for her to have a date and signature, and both of those were absent. I don't know if you caught that. I completely forgot. So she, she didn't sign that one either. She, there was not even a signature page. Really weird. Really, really weird stuff going on here. Okay. I, full legal name, Lynette MLA Preston, being sworn certified that the following statements are true. Please complete all paragraphs that relate to your case. On date is left blank, so we don't know when it happened. Place and address redacted. Respondent said or did the following things that hurt me or a member of my immediate family and made me afraid for my or my life, excuse me, for my or my family's family members' safety. She writes, see all evidence and attached statement all of this is happening now for over a year and is daily, including haul, I, I can't read that word, hauling, harling, um, on followed and pasting where we are all have been online, posting where we all have been online and his followers, Jeremy and Redacted are creating hate. It's happening. Oh, it's happening. Uh -huh. Including happening, having, having no. Oh, I'm sorry. Including having us followed and posting where we are or have been. Thank you. Uh, and Jeremy's posting this online to his followers. Jeremy and redacted are creating hate crimes and telling 600,000 people were we're doing what we're doing to him and we are not oh to him and redacted and we are not i want to take a polygraph uh, what i want to take a polygraph so i can prove we are so no. i want to take a polygraph so i can prove I am not doing anything to him. Please indicate here if you're attaching additional pages to continue these facts. And this is the Florida Supreme Court Family Law approved form. On such and such date and such and such place, the following events took place. She didn't fill any of that in. She just wrote in giant letters daily on YouTube. Our phone calls all night long. CPS calls fish and game on such and such date. The following incidents of stalking occurred. IRS called, uh, Larry co zoning called Jerry. I don't know. Healthcare department, uh, for cyber stalking, the following description of all evidence, my child's birth family contacted and posted online by Mr. Hales. I believe they reached out to Jeremy, but, that's been debunked by now. Please indicate here if you're attaching copies of medical records, yada, yada. I'm just now starting counseling due to this stalking and emotional abuse. All see all attached evidence. I understand that I am swearing or affirming under oath to the truthfulness of the claims made in the supplemental affidavit and that the punishment for knowingly making a false statement includes fines and or imprisonment. Remember, this is dated November 30th, 2023. And if she makes a falsity, again, we're back to square one. Swearing or affirming, that is perjury. So if we catch her on perjury charges, here we go. Signature, printed name, address redacted, phone number redacted, email address redacted. Levy County, Florida, affirmed. There's a, the clerk of court, sealed, the notary, excuse me, I mean. Let's see what she's got. 
Dear Judge, I am writing and entering in this supplemental report to ask you to please give me an ex parte temporary order of protection. So she asks for it by name, maybe why she, the judge granted it. While we wait to get a court date to make it permanent against Jeremy Hales and redacted. They have escalated, they have escalated the stalking and cyber stalking and abuse to a level that is terrifying to myself and my family. They have created a false Facebook page or post to look like my Facebook page. And on that, they have been writing hate messages, making it look like I am doing it. They are inciting a riot to their followers. These followers are now threatening under their guide to do harm to my family. They are threatening to Baker Act John. What's a Baker Act? Excuse me. Sorry, that was mama. <laughs> I did not want to leave her hanging. Um, they have created a false Facebook. Okay, what, what is a Baker? They're threatening to Baker Act to John. What is the Baker Act? Oh, same as a 5150. Got it. So mental inquest. Got it. Take him away to a mental institution. Thank you. Uh, they are threatening to Baker Act John and I and take a, us away in handcuffs so that my child can be taken away. They have created false posts that they are sending to the judge in Ohio, trying to get that judge to give us that no contact order that we do not deserve, which Jeremy got anyway, and are saying we've already violated it by sending these fake messages to people that are now sharing them with them. Again, we have not spoken to anyone online or otherwise about them. In the post, Mr. Hales says, and by the way, this, this highlighting is in the original. We did not add anything. The only thing that has been added to this document are the redactions. In the post, Mr. Hales says, highlighted, that I have called him a F-A-G boy and his girlfriend a sand N-I-G-G-E-R. And your honor, he is the one who created it, not me. Uh, the message is now along with an entirely created post or message I have not made or said. He's making up his own stories now because I followed the advice of the deputy to Totage and took uh, highlighting in the original down my pri private group so his moles could no longer steal my content and change it to fit their hate and anger, etc. Your Honor, I am absolutely terrified for my child and my family. His friend, this Tat Greaves, had made a video of my baby daughter. And in the video, which was a cultist video, very satanic, they made the statement right on the screen, which I've sent you, that we're coming to take away, to take uh, redacted away. Ha ha. It is, Your Honor, disgraceful and disgusting using my child, pot calling the kettle black, which he is obviously obsessed with to abuse us and stalk us and cause his fans to want to hurt us? What? He is using pictures of her diaper area and insinuating false lies to the community that I'm throwing dirty diapers all over the community, which were proven to not be ours at all. And again, I think that was debunked by now. Uh, these fake posts that they are creating and putting out to their followers, it has grown into something that is, he's making it look like we're trying to make a conspiracy to hurt him and his wife, and we are not. He is making these people literally believe it with his false posting that he's making. I could only photocopy one page of it because the rest would not come through. Suspicious. He did. Uh, uh, why wouldn't you copy the rest of it? He did it knowing that I wouldn't be able to screenshot it. That's why he did it in blue and white writing. It's insane, Your Honor, that he's doing this. I have never met any woman in a battered women's shelter. I've never gotten money from any woman in a battered women's shelter. I've never been to one. I am not getting big cats. Big Cat Rescue. What's her name? What was the woman from Big Cat Rescue? Shoot. I forgot her name. Help me out, chat. Who was the woman from Big, big Cat Rescue? The other the crazy woman with a sanctuary. Carol Baskin. Carol Baskin. So what is she Carol Baskin now? <laughs> what? I'm not getting big cats. The governor is not giving us. I mean, she's acting like her. Although even it's, you know, what's scary? 
now that I think about it, Lynette Michelle Preston is making Carol Baskin look sane. Let that sink in. Michelle is making Carol look like a normal human. Um, that's how bad this is. Uh, is not giving us the grant, not one word that he has posted in that uh, fake post. I lost my place. Uh, where was I? Big cats, uh, post a fake is not real. The one thing, but that is cyber stalking. That is what cyber stalking, bullying, and stalking is. If this cyber stalking and cyber bullying and stalking law hasn't wasn't written for me, I don't know who it was written for. What Mr. Hales is doing is horrific, and he has no care for the law. I've included in my packet screenshots of what these people are posting. He's telling them to call sheriff's office on us. You will look at it. This woman does not understand punctuation, does she? Uh, included in the packet screenshots of what these people are posting. He's telling them to call the sheriff's office on us. You will look at it and you will see the stop red circle with the line through it. It's a cell phone. When YouTubers do that, they are saying, make this, make the call, make the call. That's how they tell them to make the call without getting in trouble. I'm going to the sheriff's office to find out how many calls have come into them and leave the county. Lynette, admission by her own self that she wants to leave the county. Right here, for those of you who want to screenshot this. I'm going to the sheriff's office to find out how many calls have come into them and leave the county. Probably the smartest move. That way, you are no longer going to be stalked by this crazy Jeremy Hales, Lynette. One can only pray. Jeremy has told his fans so many, many videos, which I have. And in court hearing, I can show you, but I need the protection now for to keep my baby safe. But I have the videos where he says outwardly, if you're not calling Child Protective Services, I don't know why. So he tells his followers these lies and then tells them... <sighs> Tells him them to call the CPS. He also has said hourly himself that he has made many calls to CPS Child Protection Services. They also have called the sheriff. Oh, hi, baby. My kitty just nudged me. Sorry, I'm, uh, she's letting me know that I'm getting a little too excited. I'll, I'll bring it down a notch. They have also called the sheriffs. The sheriff, his followers, did a SWAT on us. Well, I think, again, that has been debunked. And the deputy cop came out, told us what they had said, said he knew us and that he knew it wasn't real. So he didn't send the SWAT team. Oh, okay. So he did. All right. He also has had someone call in and they spoke with deputy cop and told them that they were a friend of mine and that I was reporting on my reptile rescue page that I was going to injure myself or someone else. Um... Unfortunately, Deputy Cobb believed these lies and they came out to investigate and I assured him that it was a lie and that I didn't know that person. But he unfortunately insinuated that the man seemed very trustworthy. I believe that man was Jeremy Hales. By the way, let me take this second to remind you all, don't forget to like this video. It doesn't take, it's like ringing a doorbell. You're just, every time you come in, like ding dong, like, hi, Larry, Larry, you're live. Like this video. That's all it is. It's free. Subscribe to the channel, also free. Uh, turn on notification bell, also free. Commenting, free. Uh, commenting over there, free. If you want to support us with monetary means, you can join on as a member or you can drop a super chat with a question or uh, just a super chat and I'll be happy to uh, answer those questions when I'm done. Hashtag buckle up. I have never spoken to anyone about hurting myself or hurting others. Mr. Hales and Redacted are, this is, again, highlighting is all in the original. Mr. Hales and Redacted are doing all of this for money, for views on Facebook and YouTube. I'm not the only one that they are doing this to. They are also abusing Russell Redacted, Laura Redacted, Mary Redacted, Don Redacted, Tina and Brian, who sold him the land. We're all being abused in one way or another, and they, have, they all have been to the sheriff's office last week to beg for help to protect them. Everything I sent you, Your Honor, shows you the fact that we are being terrorized by this man, his girlfriend, and his followers. This morning I got a call, uh, and the voice was made raspy. And he said, get out of the town, bitch, bye, and hung up on me. Private number. 
I am begging the court to grant me a temporary order of protection until we can get into court and further prove my case. I cannot leave my home with my child. I cannot walk down the road and push her in her stroller because of the number of vehicles that are now going down our once empty road. They videotape me every day. And Mr. Hill, Mr. Hales has ordered them to video every day and send him the videos that also is on video. I'm begging. This is highlighted in the original. I'm begging for this protection. Someone is going to end up dead in this situation. So she's using Jeremy's fame against him and basically manipulating the judge into giving her what she wants. Like if you don't, basically she's saying this, judge, if you don't do this now, you're going to be a headline. She's threatening him. She's basically, it's a veiled threat by Lynette to the judge. If Jeremy kills me and you didn't grant this temporary injunction against him, and I end up dead, guess whose name's going to be in the papers? It won't be Jeremy. It won't be me. It's going to be you, Judge. Judge the Thomases did not grant temporary injunction. Woman ends up dead in ditch. That's a veiled threat to the judge, and that's probably why the judge granted the temporary injunction on December 4th. If somebody doesn't help me, he is going to send a fan to kill us, or he's going to kill us or somebody's going to come onto our property and try and harm us and it's going to end up and it's going to end up dead who it who is it and it'll all be for nothing for a youtube channel video that he gets paid for there's so much more that i'm leaving out and all i can do is give you the paperwork that i have and hope you see it hope that you can read everything and see the hate that he is inciting in people and getting them to do violence towards my child and John Cook. Please help us, Your Honor, by granting this temporary order, please. These things are getting bigger and bolder, and Governor DeSantis is involved, again, highlighting in the original. Governor DeSantis is involved in CPS, as I said. Please help us. Sincerely, Lynette Preston. And again, this whole thing about um, if you don't do something, someone is going to end up dead do you know how much it takes for somebody to want to kill somebody? Lynette, like, honestly, do you, do you even have a, an understanding? People don't just go around killing other people. You have to be, you have to be beyond all reasonable mental measure or hatred to really take, take someone out, like take a gun, take a knife, take a bow and arrow and just like take them out. You know how much it takes? Everything that you're showing is nowhere near that level. There's just pure, sorry, Jeremy, it's dumb fuckery. It's just dumb fuckery. All right, let's keep going. <laughs> sorry people are sending me memes i love i love these memes you guys the memes that you guys are making on this are just incredible okay dear judge she continues i had to add a second thing jeremy started a case in ohio which we know about which I have enclosed against us on the 24th of September, knowing that we had already filed against him here in Florida on the 13th of September. In that court hearing, he perjured himself over and over again, and I wanted to make it very clear that he will not stop until my child has been removed for his delusional crimes. We've committed in his mind, and I've left my property in Otter Creek. Did she? Is this, to, is this confirmed? This is October. I don't think they did. I hope you look at all my evidence. If you could just watch the video on what the hell from last night going to the police about the bad neighbors, you will see for yourself what we're talking about. Otherwise, all I can do is give you the paperwork, let you look at it, and then decide if you can give me the temporary order of protection we need protected. Mr. Hales is very clear. He will not stop. If this law wasn't written to protect me, then what was it written to protect? What is it supposed to do? This law is perfectly set to protect me from what Jeremy Hills and Redacted are doing to us. It, it says it all, everything. 
uh, what he's doing is continual. It's emotional abuse. It's causing harm and it's causing fear and it is inciting hate. It is not uh, only cyber stalking and cyber bullying, but it is in inciting hate crimes against us. No, give it to me. No inciting hate crimes against us. And that cannot happen. Somebody is going to get hurt or killed. So please help me. Please, Your Honor, please help us. Sincerely, Lynette Preston. Okay. She's repeating herself in that one. I am Lynette Preston at Redacted Outer Creek, Florida, 32683. My problems with Jeremy and Redacted Hales started around uh, voting time here in Otter Creek. The Hales, highlighting an original, had come to Otter Creek in 2021, and so did we. Oh, the gavel has been dropped. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. She drops the gavel. She literally just admitted that she moved right when the hails did. So she came after. If the Hales moved there in 2020, which I think is fact, then Lynette came. She admitted that they moved to 20 in 2021. Who's stalking who? Exactly. Too legit to quit. She followed them. She just admitted to it. She's literally her own worst enemy. Exactly, Jonah Morin. Exactly. Um. They stayed at the Shady Oak campground and then moved to their property. And then we, John Cook and I, and my three-year-old little girl moved to the campground until we could move onto our property. I had thought I was becoming friends with Therese Redacted, but I now know I was wrong. Brett Redacted made passes at me when we first got there, as he does all the women that stay at the campground. So I stayed away from him if I could and let John deal with him. Highlighting in the original, I had told Therese Redacted some things about my relationship with John Cook, who is my ex-husband, and I shared with her that he did some things that really bothered me, as he's very verbally abusive and emotionally abusive. And since I was a survivor of SA by a stepfather, oh, that's, that's still terrible. No matter who you are, you, nobody deserves this kind of stuff, but that I had rules for John when around Redacted, who I adopted alone. So John, she admits that John verbally and emotionally abuses her. And they have a three, now four-year-old child around them. And she has to watch these two bicker. And I told her that when I told him to follow them, he would belittle me and make snide remarks to me about it. I had shared the rules with Therese, redacted, and later... The, she shared them with the Hales, but the two couples changed those rules into very false lies and allegations to Child Protective Services of Levy County, which I'll explain now. I had told Therese Redacted, a lady from our old town sent John a letter and I got it, not, I got it, not him, and I read it. So she's admitting to reading other people's mail. Very interesting. As we are allowed to open each other's mail, Sure, lady. And it was a letter begging him for pain pills. If she was still, if he was still on them, she had even sent him money, which I very quickly sent back, returned to sender, and wrote on it, she better never try that again, as she was putting my child at risk in my home and life. The redacteds changed that truth to I said John was selling his pills for money to pay bills. I also shared with her that as a survivor of SA. I don't allow John to have no shirt on while playing with my daughter. And I don't allow him to kiss her on the mouth. What the fuck, man? Are you, what is this shit? Or I get mad if his shorts ride up and he does not wear, dude, underwear. What the, f
I do not allow her to straddle him for any reason. All these things were told to the Hales from the redacteds and turned into something John did to my baby girl. I will admit, highlighting in the original, John does not like women much and he is verbally abusive to me and makes fun of me when I tell him I don't like these things regarding my child. Good God. You, you can't help but feel horrible for this woman. But at the same time, it's almost like you're doing this to yourself, lady. You, you clearly know there's a problem. Leave this man. He's clearly a danger to your child and you're keeping him around. You took, a, you took her away from civilization. So if she needs medical attention, it's going to be two hours before she gets it. And now there's this man who is, oh, man. Yeah, MG Law, I am stunned. I was not ready for this when I this was not on my bingo card when I woke up this morning. Teresa Redacted was the only one I ever shared that with about any of that because we had prayed for each other and I thought we were friends. Oh my God. She really needs to get that daughter out of that environment and out of that house. Uh Brett Redacted asked me on voting day why I had my child in a dog crate. What? Oh. A dog crate? You're now putting your three or four year old in a dog crate, a dog crate. I'm sorry, you guys, this is really heavy. My heart is, is really hurting right now. Please excuse me. Uh, Brett redacted asked me on voting day why I had my child in a dog crate, sir. It was a $300 play pen while I greeted voters at our town hall. I and his wife, Teresa, were running for one of the four seats on the Otter Creek board. That day, he threatened me by saying my friendship with the past mayor redacted would do nothing but bring me trouble. Days prior, he and his wife were going to bring me a trailer because John Cook almost died on Valentine's Day or the 15th and was in the hospital. They had come to get me, get him up. But ambulance ended up having to be called. They had let me know my property was dirty and needed cleaned, basically threatening me with child protective services. So it's not just Jeremy. The EMS, the emergency medical services personnel, have also threatened her with calling child protective services if she doesn't clean up her place. They said they would get a neighbor's trailer for three days. The next day or so, I could use it three days. Um, but they ended up chewing me out. So I made a post to the owner publicly on Facebook. And since it was Valentine's week, I never changed the background. Well, that pissed Brett off thinking I was making a pass at the neighbor and I had turned his advances down long before. And they came to my property and they were brutal. They cut down everything about me. It was horrible and scared me to death for another child protective services call. And there is where the hails come in. Redacted came to get bread for her animals that I had offered, and I spoke to her about what had happened. And she made a comment to me that I had way too much on my plate, and maybe I should give my beautiful adopted baby girl up for adoption. I was so upset, I told her to leave right now. Exclamation point. Right now. Someone in the two couples called Child Protective Services on me and alleged I was a drug addict and that I was locking my daughter in the RV alone for hours and the Jeep for hours. They also claimed I told them John was selling pills. Not the true story. I told Teresa Redacted and other allegations. We both took urine tests and we told the worker the true stories that were told to only Teresa Redacted. Our medications were counted because we asked her to count them to prove we were being honest with Child Protective Services. So now to the Hales 
and why I need protection order against them. The Hales hurt people by bullying them and abusing them and then video it all and edit out what they have done and only show what the other person was doing. Sir, the redacteds are best friends with the Hales and something else had, uh, had happened that put the fear of God in me regarding both couples while we were still having, excuse me, we're still living at the campground. Brett redacted came to John and I, I swear, this woman needs to learn how to punctuate. Brett Redacted came to John and I and told us that they had found the answer and that Redacted would not be around much longer because they had found someone to kill him while he was out hunting with his dogs one day. John and I were shocked. Thank you. Punctuation. Finally. John and I were shocked and it scared me to death. I told my sister Redacted right away and we all decided it was better to keep quiet so we would not be involved with that or targeted ourselves. I wanted to tell sooner, but Brett Redacted is, threatening, is a threatening man. And Jeremy Hales is so abusive to the townspeople that I wanted to keep my baby safe from them all. The Hales use name calling to hurt and bully their victims like Rust the Sus. <sighs> I like how she actually kept his original nickname. Rust the Sus for our mayor and Scary Mary, Mary for the now ex-clerk. And I am the turtle lady. And my ex-husband is Turtle Man. Uh, it, not to be confused with Turtle Boy, who's going to be with us at 8 p.m. Don't forget to join, uh, continuing on the saga, by the way, of... Aiden Kearney, who has spent 60 days in jail, and he's going to talk about it, just reminded me. Because he's Turtle Boy, and now she's Turtle Lady, and apparently her husband. But no relation. Um, the mayor was his victim for months. And then Mary and she, at 73 Old Town Values, touched his back and arm gently, shushed him out of her office because of someone's private info out on her desk. And he was filming as he never, ever does anything without the camera on. He pressed charges. She was charged. This was not a gentle... No, lady, come on. He openly accuses them of stealing money from the town with absolutely no proof, slandering them to everyone. He charged her with battery. After he has abused her every single time, he comes into the town hall. He made her mail his bill to O and, refuse, and refuses to pay the late fee when he was offered to get the bill electronically, which would have prevented all that mess. I like how she's sorting out Jeremy Hales' affairs for him to the judge. Instead, he chose to belittle her and humiliate her on camera. Now I am the target. Uh, I am his target, and my baby daughter, three years old, seems to be his prize in his mind. What? I have been slandered, uh, highlighting in the original. All my married names have been released to his fans. He has openly accused me of child abuse, including saying I've hit my daughter in her head in front of him on a video. He has told his fans that I told him John was selling his medication for money to pay bills, and I never, ever told him that. I told the deputy CPS worker and my pain management doctor all the same story I told Therese Redacted and now you. I have been called names on his videos, lied about, and had hundreds of fans commenting horrible things about me and my child, like Child Protective Services needs to remove her as soon as possible, and I'm hurting her, and somebody needs to adopt her. Jeremy Hales said on a video that he and his wife Redacted want to adopt her. And they were calling Child Protective Services on me again. And that was on a Friday. He said he would call Monday, and he did. The second call accused John of SMing my child. Oh, Jesus Christ. His lies, the first call did not work, so he had to up his game. Uh, that call said they had a video of me saying that John had M'd her. Uh, so the deputy had to go look at the video, and he came back a few days later and told us the video did not say anything that led them to believe John touched redacted. My child almost had to undergo an S examination, which very well would have been SA to her at three years old. If you watch the videos, you will see his threats to me, and abuse is way worse than it seems. He speeds by our house above the speed limit, and I have yelled several times, and we put up a sign over... Speeding and children, he does not care. I had someone sit at the end of our driveway two nights ago, revving the engine of a motorcycle to intimidate me. He has told his fans if anything bad happens to him or redacted bad, he encourages his fans to have as much contact with us as they can. There are far too many things he is saying I'm doing to him than to type here. I have a tortoise rescue and he is destroying it. He is lying and saying I'm abusing my rescues and I need closed down. Sir, he's telling people he wants this whole town. He wants to turn it into tube town for his fans so he can rent to them and make millions. Sir, he needs to be made to leave me and my family alone. My daughter has a life-threatening. There she goes again. It's not life-threatening. I think we established that, so that's been debunked. 
life-threatening metabolic disorder and any well it's life-threatening now that you have taken away her away from civilization that's that's a literally you you're taking a helpless child and putting her in harm's way lady uh so maybe it is life-threatening now metabolic disorder and i need to care for her and illness causing fever can kill her calling child protective services on me bringing people that could be sick to my home can hurt or kill my child what about the tortoises with salmonella anyone anyone I'm afraid now his fans or he and his wife are going to kidnap my little girl. Really? Really? Since they openly admitted to wanting her, Mr. Hale, well, to, to rescue her from you, Mr. Hales has on video called me as having bipolar disorder with paranoid schizophrenia. He has identified me as a meth addict. He has told his viewers my baby daughter is in extreme danger. And needs removed from me. And as I said, he, they have called two times and someone else made one call that had the exact allegations as his calls. His videos have been about me for a couple of weeks now. He says the whole town rolls their eyes when I spoke at their town meeting because he lied about the locks on our hydrants in Otter Creek, blaming the mayor with withholding water, hoping that houses will burn down, etc. He had the people believing no one had keys for the locks. And that the locks were going to make people die in fires. I have, I, I love Otter Creek. That is why I ran for a seat and I called the Chiefland Fire Chief Redacted and asked him all about the locks. And if the people have something to worry about, he confirmed that I already know what, what I already know, excuse me, and that they have keys, but also it takes a second to cut the locks. It was brought up at the next meeting and I corrected the people talking with the truth from the fire chief and does not care how he does it. Mr. Hales did not like that at all. His fans are also putting horrible things about me online. They are brutalizing me, saying all the things he has told them about me, and I'm terrified for my daughter and myself and our safety. I have resulted in carrying my firearm everywhere I go and making sure they all know I will defend my child's life with deadly force if met with on my property. I mean, fair enough. That, that I will actually, for the first time, I agree with Lynette. Anybody comes after my child, like for real, for real, you will be met with with maybe not deadly force, but serious force. Um, Your Honor, I deserve this injunction protection order to stop this bullying and cyberbullying from happening to me and to protect my child. Mr. Hales is a bully, plain and simple, and he has made it noticeably clear on his videos he wants to bankrupt Otter Creek and his residents, and he does not care who gets hurt doing it. I'm just one of many people he has used to get rich off his video content. Mr. Hales causes drama, like pulling up outside my home, yelling and screaming horrible things, then filming us and we will edit and he will edit out what he did to start the drama and then only show us defending ourselves to his fans. I've written about both couples because they are clearly going at all this together, both on what the Hales videos on their Facebook page, the spotlight on Otter Creek group and the Hales fan page. By the way, uh, I forgot to tell you this as earlier today, I think, I think it was earlier today, somebody on Facebook added me to a private group which I just out of curiosity, I thought it was like you all. It was like uh, it was like something about fans of 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 like John Cook's shirt stains. Do you know what I'm talking about? And. I, I, I thought it was like you guys, so I just kind of checked it out, and it was like just people – it's like John is a human being like all of us. John Cook is a human being like all of us, and uh, and there's people like sh like sh just sharing photos of, of their, their stains on their shirts, and, and I quickly removed myself from the group because I did not want – because I thought it was you all. I thought it was um, – it was a private group, and I got an invitation. So please don't send me invites. I will now, now I'll definitely not accept any of them. I, I could show you, but unfortunately I already removed myself because I did not want to give the wrong impression. Now they're going to be like, ooh, DUI guy switching side, you know, because that's what scammers do. That's what scammers do. They, they take, they, they take a little tiny, tiny little thing and they're like, oh, that's it. He's ours. We got him, you know, or some shit like that. So I, I quickly removed myself. So I can't show you, unfortunately, I'm sorry, but it was, it was pretty, pretty fucking weird so i just wanted to share that with you guys because that was that was literally today um where was i there we go my tortoise rescue has been slandered 
to the point I may end up losing it altogether. And it's sad because I just became a 501c3 nonprofit organization and figured out how to reach the public for donations to help these gentle giants. Oh, look at you. You're such an altruistic individual. I'm 60. Vomit. I'm 60 and it's all I have to leave my baby daughter. I'm seeking help from an attorney, but I'm disabled and cannot pay for one. Oh, and that is why I am his target. He picks on poor people and people he feels won't fight back. Well, I'm fighting back. Bullying is illegal. Everything he's doing to some of the townspeople is wrong and abusive. Your Honor, you must watch the video clips to see just how abusive he is to me and others. Openly saying he and his wife would adopt my daughter if they could, they probably would. And all the rest could bring him or some crazy fan to hurt me and my daughter physically, sir. He has run me to the ground, even gaslighting me in the open on his videos. I've been belittled, humiliated, lied about, victimized. Jeremy Hales is a tyrant, all capitalized, autocrat, oppressor, bully, tormentor, intimidator. And he does all of this to innocent people so that he can have content for his videos on YouTube. By the way, I think Jeremy Hales, if not for this, Jeremy Hales and, and George have been doing really, really good. Correct me if I'm wrong in the chat right now, but I believe their channel before Lynette even came around was over half a million subscribers. So before they even knew Lynette existed, they were already huge because they were digging up dinosaur bones. They were digging up treasures from the earth. They were buying, you know, these, um, what do you call them? Uh, uh, storage units and, and turning them and making money. So, no, they don't need you, girl. Ain't nobody got time for you. Um, again, pot calling the, the kettle black. He's doing it only so he could. No, he doesn't do it. He He's actually a philanthropist. I think we all learned that. And Facebook, because that's how he makes his living, sir, off of hurting others all in the name of entertainment. No, that's not what he does. All of this, Your Honor, is in my opinion, and he's already threatened me with a letter from an attorney to take all my defense down the other day when he heard I was going for an injunction him. Please help me and my baby by giving us this protection order. Please, I, his past in Ohio, it's so hard to read, like, <sighs> please, I, his past in Ohio with his divorce from his now ex-wife because I was told he can be dangerous to my family. Now I found out that our city clerk has a stroke due to his abuse and is still in the hospital healing. Your Honor, this is all escalating at an alarming rate and I'm terrified for me and my daughter. He is projecting all he's doing to me as it's me doing it to him. I am not. I have only defended myself against his lies. I am contacted so many times a day by angry fans and fans that now are seeing the truth about him. I stay on my property caring for my daughter. This man said on his video, he almost has me ready to leave Otter Creek. I thought you already left. Contradiction. He wants to buy my property and I won't be the last one he hurts and guns for. Please grant me the protection order. Please watch the live he did last night on What the Hales YouTube channel. Almost all the videos are about me, just like they used to be about Russell Redacted and Mary Redacted. Thank you, Lynette Emily Preston. A word of support for Lynette Preston and John Cook. Angela, I believe this is a... Did we already read this one? September 4th. This looks very familiar. I don't want to read stuff that we already read. Does this look familiar to you all or is this brand new? What about this one? I believe this one is also familiar. It looks a little bit familiar. Yes, okay. Paul, redacted. Uh, October 4th. Okay, so this should be new. 
I don't remember this John and Lynette capitalized at the top like this. So let's read, read this one. John and Lynette, since I've started talking to you guys and I've had many conversations and questions, this is from Heather Redacted to what we know is Lynette. I've had many conversations and questions I asked you both. Not once have you said one vulgar, excuse me, one vulgar or sexual came from either one of you. I was a huge What The Hells fan until I called BS and called Lynette on Facebook Messenger and had a wonderful conversation with the both of them, asking questions like, if us YouTubers come to Otter Creek, what is there to do? And they said, nothing is here. Jeremy has been using Lynette and John as a paycheck from YouTube. He laughed and writes songs about Lynette and John, making pictures and posting them to Facebook. Anyone that questions him, he gets blocked immediately. I got blocked, but when I got my iPad, I couldn't remember my login and tried it and logged in to a totally separate account so I was still able to see and get the pictures to Lynette. I watched his videos not to support him, but to let Lynette, which by the way, still supports him. Every time you watch his video, he gets the view count. So please, please continue watching him. Uh, but to let Lynette know what was said in the video so she would know which ones were being, which ones she needed. If anything, Lynette and John need a protective order from Jeremy and George. They have asked his followers to dig, investigate, and even call CPS to hashtag help save uh, redacted. Anyone that spoke out about anything he talked about in his video on a Facebook page, Otter Creek friends and family, they would make their lives a living hell with photos of their house, people driving by all the time, and they even dig to find family members' houses and where kids go to school. And we ask who's stalking who? I have videos and all of the him admitting that George in the background is in the background and Jeremy tells everyone that they are stalking Lynette's page and told people to report back, but they're always digging. Highlighting in the original. I paid $30 uh, to become part of his friends and family memberships. So I could get Lynette the best off and know his plan of any moves he was making. He doesn't know I helped her and I'd rather keep it that way because my name and address would be the next one they target. Lynette and John aren't the dangerous ones. It's Jeremy and George who cyber bully and drive by their house, video them and their yard. But when they tried it back, it got bad. Jeremy came after John and trying to get him out of the truck. They are bullies and need to be stopped. In their friends and family membership group is called is a call they made to Redacted, their baby, family, and had a phone call with the family uh, and reaching out to Lynette's family to get dirt on her. So if anyone is doing stalking, it's Jeremy and George. Dear Judge, I'm writing this on behalf of Lynette Preston, highlighting in the original. I do not think a restraining order protective order is necessary. Wait. What? Dear Judge, I'm writing this on behalf of Lynette Preston. I do not think a restraining order or protective order is necessary. I do not think. What? This is in her petition. And she highlighted it. What is this? Okay, let's read on. Maybe it will clarify. Maybe that's a typo. Maybe it's supposed to say that they do need a restraining order. Lynette already avoids him by her own choice. She does not call him, show up anywhere he is except for town hall meetings at which she does not talk to him and does not approach him. She leaves immediately after the meetings are adjourned. The only time they have any verbal exchange was one meeting at which Mr. Hales launched a personal attack on her. He said things that were not true and she spoke up to defend herself. This was all recorded by several people at the meeting, including Mr. Hales. Mr. Hales is actually the one stalking her and John. Okay, so they, it must have been a typo. Um, they accidentally spoke the truth. I, don't, I do not think a restraining order or protective order is necessary. That's hilarious. And she didn't even catch that. Lynette didn't. 
he constantly rages about her on his tube on his YouTube channel saying very nasty mean things mean things about her has stated he has cameras set up on his property aimed at her property he has called every agency he could think of encouraged friends and family to do it to get her turtle rescue shut down and to get her daughter taken away from her mr hales has been re relentless in his attacks on ms preston He even picks fights with her ex-husband, who also resides on the same property. In one incident, he drove by their property very slowly, spoke, speaking very loudly, as he video recorded until Mr. Cook came out to see what, what was going on. Excuse me. Don't forget to like this video. It's like ringing the doorbell. Ding dong. Like this video. Comment below. Subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you get notified when we go live and do more of these and other stuff. Tonight at 8, my girlfriend and I, Remy Legal, are going to be doing an interview with Aiden Kearney. And by the way, tomorrow, John Bryan is going to be talking about a judge that he lifted absolute immunity from. Because guess what? The judge ended up going to a property and doing a search with the police. And when the guy said, get out of my house to the judge, the judge said, if you don't allow me to be here, I am going to have you arrested. And the court said, no immunity for you, lady. Crazy stuff. Case from last year. He's going to talk about it. Um, Mr. Hales stopped in front of the Preston Cook property. And Mr. Cook did take a gun out of his pocket and then stumbled, which caused him to raise the gun briefly and back down again. The highlighting in the original. Never threatened Mr. Hales with the gun. In another altercation, Mr. Hales came running down his driveway to confront Mr. Cook who was driving down the road. They had a verbal altercation, and Mr. Hales challenged Mr. Cook to get out of his vehicle. Mr. Cook declined to do so. Mr. Hales was the instigator in these situations. Watch his videos. Mr. Hales has made Ms. Preston's life miserable for the last year now, while Mr. Hales just wants those clicks to make money off his videos. He has also stated he wants them out of Otter Creek and won't stop until they are gone. Mr. Hales is not the one in danger. Ms. Preston is the one in danger. She has been subjected to very nasty phone calls from his fans who threaten her. Please reconsider this restraining order. She is of no threat whatsoever to Mr. Hales. Sincerely, Angela redacted, and it's not signed. Um, again, this is the same copy. We've. She's just copy and pasting Paul's twice now, three times now, twice here and then once in the previous one. Uh, letters of support, again, September 5th. Uh, does this look familiar? Because I can't tell if this is something that we read already or not. You guys tell me. It looks like something we read because the date is... Um, September 4th, so more copy-paste job. Yeah, that's what I thought. Again, Paul H., let's keep going. In support of Lynette Michelle Preston. Now, this one I, I remember, MH Newsletters. Again, copy and paste. Heather M., September 4th, copy and paste. October 3rd. Okay, I think we have a new one. Does this, does this look new? This looks new. This is Patty. I don't remember a Patty. October 3rd, so it couldn't have been, right, if, if the date is correct. I'm writing this letter in regards to Lynette Michelle Preston. I have not met Lynette in, in, in person, but I have grown quite close to her over the past six months through correspondence. I have found her to be genuine and truthful and have never had to question her facts. She loves her daughter with every breath she takes. By the way, you know, I just got an idea, you all. Um, since she has, you know, these letters, what if you all don't tell Jeremy you're doing this? Okay. Don't tell Jeremy I'm doing this. Just kind of do, keep it on the down low, keep it on the hush hush, unless he's watching, in which case the cat's out of the bag. What if you were to just draft like a one page or half a page, one paragraph, one line, whatever you want, letter of support and mail it to Jeremy or like a PO box that Jeremy has for the judge to see in the future. How cool would that be? 
because she's got all these people writing like these beautiful words, you know, and she's got like, I don't know, let's call it, we haven't got finished going through it, but let's call it, let's say she's got 20 letters. Imagine if Jeremy were to come in his response to the supplemental petition and included, I don't know, half a million, half a million letters of support versus her 20. You know how fucking crazy that would be? Because you guys have been following this stuff. You literally know more about Jeremy than maybe Jeremy knows about himself. Especially people that know Jeremy and people that know him through the YouTube channel. You know, words like, I have been following Jeremy for five years on his channel. I've been following Jeremy for the last seven years. I've been following Jeremy for the last nine years. I've been following him for the last three years. And just be like what I have learned about the man, what he has done, his philanthropic, you know, um, acts, his, his, the, the way that he helps people, the way how he helps people become entrepreneurs, how this woman has stalked him to the ends of the earth. That, if that's one thing that's going to drive this judge insane is reading 20 letters of support for her and 500,000 letters in support of Jeremy. Just an, just an idea, just a thought. <laughs> Jeremy's going to hate me because he's going to hit the, the news, not the news, the the United States Postal Service driver that's going to be dropping off these letters at, at Jeremy's house. He's going to be like, what the fuck? <laughs> There's, the, I, I need boxes. I don't have enough. I need boxes to carry all these letters to you, Jeremy. That's a good idea. I, I'm fully, I, I support that fully. Let's, let's, you know what we're going to call it? We're going to call it letter flooding the Haleses. <laughs> letter flooding the Haleses. Anyway, I contacted Lynette after I watched numerous videos from YouTube, Jeremy Hales. I couldn't believe that someone could be so cruel towards a woman and her family that were struggling physically and emotionally and financially. I watched this man bully, harass, and attempt to destroy this family for, to the entire world. I heard him say he wanted her daughter. He wanted her land. And frankly, he did not care how he got it. His viewers began attacking and threatening Lynette from all directions, phone calls, social media, and in person. Um, does it have to be notarized? Somebody's asking. Um, you can. I mean, you don't have to. Uh, I think just a signature is enough. I mean, it would be really nice if they were notarized too. But, th th I mean, you can. It just it goes to show the authenticity, you know, that the the person is writing this. The person who is writing this is is legitimate in a real human, not some bot or whatever. Um, Mr. Hales and his followers have created such a havoc in Lynette's life that her only choice was to fight for her daughter, fight for her property, and let the world know she is not the person that he claims her to be. She has proven so many things regarding Jeremy and his lies. I pray the courts will allow for a restraining order to prevent Mr. Hales from damaging Lynette and her daughter any further. Thank you for taking the time to consider this letter as proof that Lynette and her daughter need protection, uh, her daughter redacted, need protection from Mr. Hales on the What the Hales community. Sincerely, Patty Redacted. Have a great day, Patty. Uh, reference injunction. This looks new, September 11th. 2023, Honorable Craig the Thomasis, that's the uh, address of the court. So, of course, it's not redacted, but Gail redacted in his address or her address, and that's been redacted. Your Honor, I'm writing this letter advising the court about granting this injunction to Lynette Preston against the defendant Jeremy Hales YouTuber, What the Hales is. Uh, I personally do not know neither of the parties... <laughs> I personally do not know neither of the parties involved in this case. I'm only familiar with them from YouTube. Mr. Hales has an auction channel on YouTube who I really love and respected up until the time he started bashing the people of Otter Creek with stalking, bullying, and name-calling to YouTube. Lynette Preston, in particular, has received the worst of the name-calling and threats from his YouTube followers. Um on YouTube. Also, Russell Redacted, Don Redacted, Mary Redacted, and now Thomas Redacted have received mr hales's wrath this has been going on for two years now and it really needs to stop a lot of people have been caused a lot of stress 
from Mr. Hales's behavior. Um, I need, if need be, Your Honor, I can be reached at the information above. Thank you for your time. Sincerely, Gail Redacted. Jeremy Hales and Redacted, Lynette Preston to Lynette Preston. Dear Judge, I'm writing this second letter to you. And yes, I'm doing it in an email because I have no other way. Wait a second. Is this the same one? Is this the same one that she wrote in September? Is this a copy and paste job, you guys? I don't want to go through it if this is a copy and paste job. Please help me out. Is this the same one or is this a new one? Repeat. Okay, if it's a repeat, we're moving forward. No, there's there's language on here. Twenty three thousand uh, dollars, Zillow. Are you sure? Are you sure, fam? I'm not doubting you. I'm just. I don't remember reading twenty. Tw oh yes, I do. I remember. I remember. I remember now. Seat of commissioners. Okay. It's if uh, Chad is saying it's a repeat, so I'm not going to waste my time. Um, dear judge, I'm writing the second letter to you. Uh, Again, second letter, second time for the third time. 23,000. Yep, there it is. It's the same language. Good God. That one has some different stuff, though. Yeah, I noticed that, too. But it's like, honestly, at this point, I, I don't want to read it. It's it's a waste of your time. Like there's nothing new in there. I'm waiting for like some new to your judge. I'm writing the second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth letters to you. Okay, here we go. Nope, nope. That's a repeat. Repeat again. Nine seven. So we said it's gonna be 300 pages, huh? No, not really. This is the September 7th. I mean, she's just repeating herself over and over and over. Okay, something new. Here we go. Lynette Michelle Preston, Lacey Alexis. God may have a different idea of your life than you had. Go with it because God's never wrong. Okay, I don't know what this is about. That's just her page with a tortoise photo. Okay. All comments. Joyce redacted. I missed it. Mary redacted to Joyce redacted. Uh, John has the perfect plan to take after YouTube. Tag man and his, oh, dear God. No, I'm not, no, I, I can barely read that, and I think that's that's a naughty word. Um, Mary Redacted, Redacted posted it on his page and YouTube community page. Uh, Matt Redacted says, in due time, which should be really soon, he'll be in cuffs. Otter Creek, Florida, and the something. Uh, Shart Stains, Midnight Edition, 1030. Apparently, she's blocked almost everyone who would talk to her, so this literally is it. Carla Redacted, so you helped. Racist people who threaten lives, great job. Shara, Carla Redacted, no, my story is about Town Hall. She was part of the Town Hall scene, and I left her story weeks ago. Shara Redacted to Carla Redacted, I can do a great job. Yes, thank you. I can't read any of that. I don't know what that is. Uh, Shard Stains Afternoon Update, 1029. Jeremy Hells is the best thing that hit Otter Creek in years. He will make Otter Creek respectable again. Shara responds, Richard redacted, the harassing, terrorizing, threatening, and punishing all those, uh, all those that oppose and speak out and utilizing the legal system to harm and dominate the innocent... Because you have the power to do so, has a name, and it's being watched all over the world. The whole world is watching, but I think she's on the other side. And it's not good for Otter Creek. The world is crying and praying for Otter Creek. That's my opinion. Heartbreaking to watch. Lizzie replies to Shara Redacted. The world is crying and praying for Israel right now. Okay. They're off topic. Melissa Redacted. Do not contact Levy County Sheriff on behalf of Jeremy and George. They have it under control. If LP and JC are arrested, I would give them money to watch the that perp walk. Anonymous participant. Another anonymous participant writes, who thinks JC and LP pack up and leave in the dark of the night? Melissa Redacted writes, the do not contact. 
I want to see them, says Teresa Redacted. I want to see them in cuffs, please. Save. Redacted. Please, Florida, make this something. Anonymous participant. If LP, okay, we watched, we again copied. Uh, can we please stop messaging the admins and mods? Can we please stop messaging the admins and mods with blah, 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 needs to go, blah, blah, needs to get blocked for arguing. I've gotten multiple messages relating to this. Please stop. Have they broken the rules? No. Arguing isn't against the rules. So because they argue, I don't see eye to eye. It's not a reason to block or boot them. If they break the rules, then the admins will do something. Um, sorry, my, my thing crashed. There we go. Back to the screen. Um, but we will not stoop to Lynette's and John's level, booting people just because they have a different view and express it in a civil way. Here are the rule reminders, blah, blah, blah. Uh, Charles Redacted is with Richard Redacted. Short stains afternoon update, 1029. Wait, we already read that. Copy and paste job. Um, link, Tat Redacted. Mary, the bipolar in me, wants to say something along the lines of Redacted, is four years old. She should be able to speak enough words to tell me to stop the shady bunch of otter creek florida that's funny uh joyce redacted i'm uh breathe a sigh of relief was just watching jh's video from yesterday and yes the judge ordered the sheriff to remove all guns from uh john cook jc the entire town can breathe and now and not have to worry about being targets as they drive down public road i still pray for their safety though uh, Matt says, no wonder why they're going crazy posting yesterday. And Rick replies, so now they're blocking people on the other page for no reason. Been here for a while. Da, da, da. Okay. Anonymous participant. I have to zoom out a little. Uh, normal caring people. It, it, uh, takes normal caring com people to commit someone. Florida has a great law to remove people like these two. Signed a mental health pro started getting proactive and putting them away far away from the child i've reached out to their family members and professionals keep feeding me her and his post make the situation better for the child how to be you okay baby oh, i thought she just coughed up a hairball make the situation better for the child how to be proactive call child protective services in their county and keep calling it works both of them show and continue to show they are dangerous to the public and specifically a danger to redacted do any of you care just wondering uh all the time spent on here could be put into the child aka redacted baker act explain to me if he ever paul redacted says explain to me if he never physically abuse you or redacted why does john brag how proud he was to have infected redacted with one of his many touch-based illnesses you heard me right all his infection or touch-based meaning he had to have touch and specifically put his hand in the child's mouth or other what the f i let you all sink that image into your brain for a second to realize does defending them friend or not you're defending a child abuser and Lynette is covering him on his actions. She knows redacted, got infected. Is what the hell, man? And like I said, there's only one way for that to happen. John and Lynette know John can't touch redacted. That was where he's supposed to be in the RV to begin with. So how did she get infected? Charlene redacted. You should be very upset with Sarah Shara as she has text messages about redacted and she has done hasn't done a damn thing. Charlene, we all care very much. Christine, CPS has been called eight times, nothing done. Paul, I care more than some might think. Da, da, da. Teresa redacted. Even though I live in a different state, I am a mandated reporter. I also know the fish and wildlife 
are also mandated reporters. I have and I will continue to call and report. I can honestly say Florida judicial system needs to be investigated. I can tell you Ohio system is top notch compared to Florida. So far, that's shown to be true. I lived in Ohio 17 years, Maine 33, and they also don't put up with DM or violence at all. DHHS, CPS don't play anymore. Unfortunately, I've seen children taken for no reason. Florida needs to have international investigation. Um, Report it on a state level. You can do it online. Florida Department of Children, Health and Families, Paul Redacted Child Protective Investigator. The eighth visit from DHS today, September 6, 2023. Allegation was baby is pooping in a bucket. Um, baby sitting in shed without running water. We have a beautiful RV 2021 has bathroom. Okay. What the hell's new t-shirt concept? First, the way the world sees her. Second, Lynette's view of herself. We think she meant to type ET. Uh, third, the way fans see her. Get those transcripts done, Lizzie. OC, one more. Lynette. Liabilities, ignorant human, delusional mind, no punctuation, evil woman. Uh, step monster and turtle lady. And then something else. Uh, what the hells? If you want Heinz, if you want to Heinz with me, come to the old schoolhouse in Outer Creek on October 21st. Maybe you'll get me, you'll see, maybe you'll get to see me get served behind an open gate. John Cook writes, the coward of Levy County is being served a no contact order or harassment order against him, but he's hiding on his property behind locked gates and a camera to not get served. Jeremy Hills is a uh fnp he brags about serving people and doing everything to them but when he when he's starting to get nailed he is a coward and hides or hinds community yard sale saturday october 21st 2023 7 a.m to 3 p.m come out and enjoy a day of bargains on the family there's a flyer here um what the hell is just right we're moving again Raising a child to use a bucket as a potty is crazy, but coming from you and septic turd, my daughter doesn't use a fucking bucket, you moron. We have a bathroom. We have a beautiful RV. You're stupid, and I've turned this into something. They should be picked up and arrested. Now for that comment alone, OMFG, that right there is grounds for them both to be arrested, her for posting it, and him for the threat. I can't believe, or maybe I shouldn't be shocked, the gall that these two have, and they think they can get away with it, something that's disrespectful and disturbing. We'll find out tonight. Just like that, Presto is hidden again. Lynette Michelle Preston made this group hidden from search and other places on Facebook. So it's divided people. So let's explain. Three days ago on the 24th, Lynette and Redacted had a chat that the cultists scare them and are afraid they're going to take her baby. The post was made a day before I made the music clip and posted it. I was merely responding. That has been cut off. Charlene Redacted. You should be very upset with Shara as she has text messages about redacted and she hasn't done a damn thing. Anonymous participant, John Crook, is abusive to LP. I think she herself admitted it now. This is no secret as she's thrown him under the bus often about his abuse. Maybe the name crossed out on her court papers was Crook. A bunch of people here. I don't know what the screenshot is for. Showing. I can't read that. Maybe you guys can. I'm going to leave it on the screen for a second. You are a mean, hateful person. How dare you call my friend's wife the N-word. You are the lowlife scum. This is from Mary. Lowlife scum, I hope you rot in hell, you crazy bitch. Leave my friends the hell alone. I hope you go to jail where you and that sick pervert you are living with, ungrateful bitch. Person is available on unavailable on Messenger. Clearly, she was blocked. JC is abusive to everyone. Anonymous participant. Well, look at the chatty bunch. Uh, 
Uh, you know what's making me and other people upset in Otter Creek? It is the fear we have to live with for our lives. You know what else that makes me just so upset? It is the fact that I want so bad to fulfill my little girl's wish and take her for a walk in her beautiful stroller, and I can't because I'm too afraid of being shot or having someone try to kidnap us or kidnap her or hurt us in some way. This is so sick and so wrong. This is so wrong. And you people should be ashamed of yourselves. Uh, the stuff just creeps me out and I'm just so tired of it. Breathing a big sigh of relief was just watching uh, JH's video from yesterday. It says Joyce redacted. And yes, the judge ordered the sheriff to remove all the guns from JC. Oh, we already read that one. That's a copy and paste again. Copy and paste again. Jason redacted. I'm watching a video right now talking about how much of a scammer you are. Got to get a damn job, lady, and stop creating drama wherever you go. Juanita redacted. I hope God has mercy on your soul. <laughs> Can't read this. He says as soon as he gets back there, we don't know where, who this is from. As soon as he gets back there and goes to the sheriff's department, you two will be arrested. They're also at a hotel, so I think he'll be back tomorrow. I'm going to send this whole thing because it is mostly you. Here's the link. Reporting the bad neighbors to the police. Christine redacted. CPS has been called eight times and nothing done. Paul redacted. I care more than some might think. The issue I have is letting does child abuser to repeat the same thing with more children in the future. They already did multiple time. That vicious cycle stop here. They need to put a foot away from any children. Linda redacted. Get a hold of Jeremy. He said in today's video that he has proof that Lynette has told multiple people she wants to give up redacted. Oh, so Lynette wants to give up her baby, allegedly. Just never got around to it. What the hells? Moles are everywhere, even at the courthouse. Anyone want to take a guess who Russ the Sus was with yesterday at the courthouse? Second picture. Here is your only clue. Ex-corrupt mayor starts fight. Da, da, da. Uh, Janny, Janie, redacted. Uh, no one is laughing at the town. They are laughing at you and the drama you have created by lying and abuse and using a child for sympathy. She's calling herself out in every single one of these, by the way. I mean, I don't know why she included them. I have no idea. Lack of intelligence, maybe? <sighs> using a child for sympathy, money, and anything else you think you want. No one believes a thing you say because you've lied so much. You spend all your time on Facebook making more drama and blaming everyone else but yourself. You can make changes, but it has to come from you within yourself. Very deep. If you can't do it for yourself, do it for the child. She deserves better, better. Have a nice day. And she blocked them. That was actually the nicest message I think she's gotten. Very true. Very deep. Me. Good morning. Under the circumstances, I feel it's better to protect myself and my integrity and not do your function. I do not want to open myself up for any more false accusations. Wait, did she send this to herself? What the hell? You know what happens when you when you when you send a message to yourself on Facebook? It says me. Is this a message from herself to herself and she fucking screenshots this? What? Just because you have money. Is this her talking to herself? How stupid are you? Just because you have money or own things or whatever that others don't own or don't have doesn't mean that you're the one who is being honest and sincere. I came from redacted with a paid for home. It's It, it sounds like her. Very little punctuation, very few periods run on sentences. Wow. With a paid-for home, our friends were the mayors, the commissioner, the higher-ups in Redacted. They were my friends, and he knew me inside and out. I moved here to save my daughter's life and get away from all this, viruses and all the people. And unfortunately, my little neighbor's next door. Yeah, this is her. This is literally her. And she's writing like it's a real person. Holy crap. You know you're in deep shit when you have to literally talk to yourself and and use that as proof in court my little neighbors next door who loved her and wanted to be over at my house every day because they loved me again this is lynette talking to lynette me and when we got here things fell apart not only did biden take office and wreck the world but everything else fell apart it doesn't in any way shape or form say or prove who i am well you are lynette i have said who i am lynette i am honest and i am sincere i am lynette I have integrity and I don't and won't allow anything that isn't 
happen in my world, in my area, around my home, and around my child. I will stand on Romans 9.1, and that's where I'll leave it. I know you guys don't want me there, so I'll make sure that I let you. What the hell is she rambling about? That I let you have your day to yourself and enjoy it, and that I'm protected to have not said anything wrong, done anything wrong, or caused any problems whatsoever. Thank you, and you guys have a wonderful function. Just remember, there's two sides to every story, and I'm very okay with standing on the truth. Yeah, okay. Yeah. He told on himself today he's having a meeting. Somebody wrote with someone from the county code about you having two campers onto the property between 35 and 30, for 34 and 35 minutes in the video. He says it. Um, I've already spoken with Levy County and we are fine. People are allowed to visit. So she says people are allowed to visit, but I don't think she lets anybody on her property. Ah, good that you looked more into him. He's getting worse with the violent ideation and threatening fantasies. There's a link. You know we should just have both of our families come down, put them on a patrol right there across the street on our property, and we'll set up patrol, and we'll just have AK-47s pointed there the entire time. I remember that. Uh, what the hells? How many aliases do I have? Corrupt mayor is scared and hiding. Uh, turd lit people dumping their garbage in our town. Lynette and John Crook need jailed for the long history of abuse and law-breaking. Matching turtle. That looks like George. What the George? What the hails? I can't read that. Who'll go to jail first? Otter Creek update. I remember that title. Matching turtles. I can't read any of this. It's unreadable. Stay away, says Josh Redacted. Stay away from helping those people. They are nothing but bad news. Stephen Redacted. Why would anyone who has a soul want to help you? You are running an illegal sanctuary. I had the USDA inspected your facility. I don't think so. Has the USDA inspected your facility? I don't think so. Why don't you get a clue and shut this illegal site down before the FBI comes after you? By the way, I've made my peace with God. Have you? <laughs> Picture one. Lynette is headed to Levy County Sheriff to report Jeremy today. Making it easy for the deputies to arrest her and John Crook. Mm -hmm. John Crook septic brain. <laughs> oh my God, this is crazy. This is so crazy. Just one of the thousand pictures of screenshots and videos filed with the Ohio courts against John Crook and Lynette. What would you have done? No Ohio R's in Levy County. Stop Jeremy Hales. You literally wrote that on a sign and now you included it in your petition. You are an absolute moron you are a dumbass of the highest degree lynette you wrote this you have forever memorialized your defamation of jeremy in your own petition this is you again shooting yourself in the foot like a complete and utter monkey you dunce you idiot you moron you nut job, you tool, you 5150 insane. I have no words. This woman needs professional help and God save Jeremy and George from this woman. No, I know that they told me that, but now we have the proof. By her own doing, Teresa, there's a big difference. When when they told me, I believed them, and I still believe them. Um, when they told me that they that uh, Lynette, see, lawyers, we don't operate like normal humans. We we will listen to you and we will believe you, but in, and then when we see it with our own eyes, I mean, that's it. That's the evidence. You know, without evidence, it's all hearsay. No offense, but hearsay is not admissible in court. This is no longer this proves that it's no longer hearsay. Now it's it's fact. She included this in her own petition for injunction for stalking. She literally said, I wrote this. And here it is. Her complaint is against Jeremy. And it's evidence now for Jeremy. Exactly. Her complaint is no evidence for Jeremy. Jeremy can use this stuff like her own. She filed this. She filed this. Not Jeremy. Wow. Just 
Wow. <sighs> Sorry, my, my screen glitched again. All right. Um, let's share screen. So just one of thousands of pictures. Oops. I didn't mean to press that. Okay. Uh, screenshots and videos filed with the Ohio courts against John Crook and Lynette. What would you have done? Oh, good point, Kathy McClure. In court, she said she never saw these signs. Wow. Literally? Are you serious? She said she never saw these signs? And she includes it, a copy of it in her own petition? My God, my God. This is a twisted and desperate woman. Very, very twisted. <sighs> Man, I wouldn't, I wouldn't wish her upon my worst enemy. Like that's how bad this is. Okay, let's keep going. Um, what the hell is Lynette blocked Blank's grandma, who Lynette claimed was her best friend. Uh, Vera, John Crook, and Lynette blocked me. I'm the baby's grandmother. She blocked the grandmother. I feel so bad letting them adopt. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on, hold on. I feel so bad letting them adopt her. My daughter feels worse. They lied to us. Oh, shit. The smoking gun, folks. We finally found it. We finally found the smoking gun. Vera redacted. This is like page 83. Look at this. Look at this, folks. You can't make this stuff up. This is in her own petition. Vera redacted. John Cook and Lynette blocked me. I am the baby's grandmother. I feel so bad. Letting them adopt her. My daughter feels worse. They lied to us. Oh, my God. Apparently, Lulu's mom. Oh my God, this woman is like destroying her own case. Before our very eyes, folks, there's the smoking gun, page 83. Vera redacted, John Crook and Lynette blocked me. She even calls them by the same nicknames that uh, Jeremy and George have created for them. I am the baby's grandmother. I feel so bad letting them adopt her. My daughter feels worse. They lied to us. The whole world is watching. Hashtag buckle up. Buckle up, folks. It's right here. We finally found the smoking gun. No, the judge did not get a chance to look at the evidence, Carolyn. Carolyn, Caroline. Sorry if I'm mispronouncing your name. Um, wow. Wow, 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 wow. Say and hashtag save redacted. That's probably the daughter's name. Oh, this is heavy. This is heavy. Whenever a child is involved, if it was just like neighbors versus neighbors, I'd be like, ah, whatever. Stop bickering, you fucking monkeys. But Child's children are involved. The child is involved with a condition, and it's just it hurts. It hurts so much. <sighs> what the hell is make sure to wipe your okay? We saw that one already. That's a repeat. ET go home redacted is waiting for you. Um, a dollar for everything. Those look like dildos. Not sure if the local residents will have turtle soup. 
stand on the side of the road, but I know you can get French toast casserole on a stick October 21st, 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. So they had a community yard sale in October. The Hales is dead. New t-shirt concepts. Yep, we saw this one. Again, I can't read this. If you are having a true medical emergency, attend to it and quit posting, shaking my head. M redacted replies. Sandra redacted. If you have nothing constructive to say, then shut up and sit down. Thank you. And she replies, hey, redacted, that was constructive feedback. Why don't you go fuck yourself and sit down and shut up, bitch? Sandra redacted says, James, why don't you quit? just quit posting? Christina redacted, Mary redacted. It's a, f uh, it was still there. It would be helped him. That meth will fix his knees. Lynette Michelle Preston, Robert redacted. John doesn't do drugs and hasn't done any day in his life. Any a day in his life. Kathy redacted. Uh, Kathy, you're nothing but a piece of garbage and blame everyone else for your crap and lies. I talked to Redacted's real grandmother and gave her... Oh, again, we, we saw this already. We saw this already. Um, transcript. Back into another clerk position in another nearby town and steal from them. That's not going to help you. Uh, that's not going to help this needs to be needs to be completely and totally seen through the Russell needs. He never, ever run for a seat. However, again, frankly, they both need jail and that comes down to Laura redacted as well. She's part of this. And again, I promise you it's going to be fun to see once we get into the, in the actual suit and into the court, it's going to be fun to see who throws who under the bus uh, under the rust, under the bus, first uh, they're going to have remember every time I went. Okay. Back to it. So next, oops. I lost my place, sorry. All right, here we go. Okay, so Meredith Redacted says, okay, so you guys don't normally give letters of closure or anything. I get it. I'll figure it out, but thank you very much, ma'am. We can send closure letters. We'll have to wait until power is restored. Page active now. I do not understand. Can you please be forthcoming? I really don't understand. The drone dropped a tiny microphone. It came from the east. I highly doubt there's way too many trees, big ones. It's already done. The results are not good for you. Okay, the sheriff will deal with it. Thank you. Reddit is a beautiful thing. They're laughing at you. Okay, thank you. James Redacted says, scummy cunt. And she blocked him. Susan Redacted says, I try to help animals and admire people who adopt children. Uh, X, I can't get my head over a child living in a shed. No plumbing. No plumbing. X, if you care for that child, please give her to the family that can provide a home or just wait until the next junkie you invite to stay that shoots her or ours her. Oh, dear God. While you're making face at... Council meeting. I live in Scotland, so feel free to send your septic man to play with his dick in his pants, gun-free country. Uh, you're a filthier or disgusting human being. My child doesn't live in a shed with no water. It's a lie. I have beautiful property. I'm in the process of building home. CPS, which is our child protective services, have been to my home on many occasions via Jeremy, only to find that they were told was a lie. So I'm sorry that you have to be so disgusting and gross, and I will keep you in my something. Okay. So that's it for today. Um, oh, no, there's one more page. Sorry, there's one more page. My um, one second.
Did I just mute myself? Oh man, I, I must have pressed the button on accident. I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. I was reading them. At, at least I was reading Super Chats. I guess that was the positive thing. At least I was reading. So you saw them on the screen at the very least. I'm sorry, you guys. I accidentally muted myself. All it takes, this thing that sucks is all it takes is this. And now you cannot hear me. Like, it, it, this is terrible. I apologize. Um, okay. Uh, Marlena Cantu, she's digging her own grave. She's got one foot in the grave and one foot on a banana peel. Y'all hit that like for Larry. Don't forget it. Thank you. Hashtag buckle up. Hashtag, hashtag man up JG. Uh, Perry says, first filing, not signed, uh, flowing filing, not valid. I mean, basically, that's the argument. Exactly. Uh, Tricky Chai, sir, can you be on SSI or SSDI and work and make up for a certain amount before you get anything taken away? I looked into it for myself years ago. This is asking for legal advice, but I'll just say with the limited caveat that this is not legal advice, it depends. Candace Bingham, I've contacted uh, SS, DSCF, F and G, IRS. Next is the government agency because of the corruption in Levy County, all based on her videos and Facebook posts, not because of what the hails. Wait, how long was I muted for? Did I at least finish like the, oh Lord, I was muted for a hot minute, wasn't I? Okay, I'm sorry, you all, That's that was an accidente. Lilith says, please check X, I left a post, Starfire Wolf is my name, I will do that. Um, I'm swamped with messages, so I try to catch as many as I can. Please forgive me if I have not read yours. I was fully caught up through this morning or yesterday afternoon, I should say, and now I have like a ton more. Um, but, uh, I, I really appreciate your input. It's just slow down, slow down. I am, um, slow down because I have so much to go through and it's a, a lot of it is, is repeat. So unless you have something like brand, brand new, um, don't, don't worry about it. I've received it all. I've really have seen it all. Um. Uh, and it's it's a lot. <laughs> so I really appreciate you, but slow down. Please. Um, Connie Smeltzer says, I have far too much invested in the saga. Keep it coming. We will. Buckling up for the ride. We still have about 280 pages, I think. How many do we have left? Um, no, 240. 240 pages to go and they're going to they're going to flow very smoothly. It's they're going to flow very fast. One more video and we'll be done with Lynette's supplemental. Um Tricky Chai, she doesn't like people calling her out on her bullshit. There you go. Michelle Natale, Lynette had a friend type what the videos said. They're not professional transcripts. That is correct. It looks very much so. Samantha Wilson, will you help the biological family get Harley? Um I don't, I'm not licensed in Florida, but if they call me, maybe. I don't know. Wendy Ingram, she started all this with her lies. Uh, Max Lab sent you something on Facebook. Again, please slow down. Please, please. I'm trying. I'm trying, Your Honor. I'm trying. Ate it fricks. Lynette will sue you for stalking her. Can't wait. Uh, Karen Stoppel, thank you for the two bucks. Karen Stoppel, thank you for another two. And uh, Dwayne Norville, Ashley, part one, stepmother is video must watch. Okay. Uh, Pepper and C, Larry Lynette did not write this portion. She had a fan of hers write this. There you go. Froggy girl. Oops, I hit the wrong button on my phone. What would happen if the appeals court sides with the shameful judge? Are judges like we stick together? No. They will overrule if they don't believe that the judge will pursue into law. It's obviously such an ego thing for judge grudge. Exactly. Lisa Wilson, Lynette and Crook are crazy people. Uh, Angie Jordan, we don't have the diagnosis on Lynette, but she's showing classic signs of BPD, borderline personality disorder. Theresa Finn says, so if things aren't signed and dated, can they still be used as evidence? Yeah, but they're much, much weaker. Uh, of course, that is if 
Judge Grudge isn't presiding over the case. One second. Sorry, my cat wanted to um, exit the room and uh, I asked my girlfriend to come get her. Um, uh, Patricia uh, Kearney. Remember, Lynette did not write this. Someone else did. She mentions this in her first court hearing where the judge said this is hearsay and threw it out. There you go. It's all taken off YouTube closed captions. Uh, Juliet Morgan. Sorry, Larry, but all we do is laugh at her because it's so unbelievable. I'm with you. Sapphire Sky. It is a legal petition if her signatures are not consistent. Is it a legal petition if her signatures are not consistent throughout her signatures? You mean like if she changes her signature? No. You, you can literally, th this right here is a signature, just like a line. You know, it used to be because people used to be illiterate across the world. And now all these illiterate people have voice to text and it's terrifying. Uh, Debbie Childers, how would she know what her page sign in would be if Jeremy and George would have created it? Doesn't make sense. How would she know what her page sign would be? Yeah, I don't I, exactly, exactly. I'm with you. Fubar Debias, she has her own language, not Taiwanese, but Lyonese. Uh, DJ Radis, what's up, brother? By the way, Larry, I'm Tat Greaves. Yes, I made a parody video. Gotcha. Okay, okay, okay. Ms. Krim, by the way, great work. By the way, great work. Ms. Krim just so happens she posts the posts she claims he is faking are ones she blamed on Marley Hughes, her friend created in court. I was in Otter Creek yesterday. It is a very odd town. We did not interact with anyone. Drove by her place. It's a dump. Hmm. Mm hmm. Fluff Nunata. Um, I would love to see an admittance from DeSantis that he was involved with Lynette with his case. Hmm. Maybe. We'll see. James Fender, thank you for the five. Uh, Jeffrey Montgomery, we do not... We now know you never read this ahead of time. Welcome to the What the Hell's community. We've been hearing about this for quite some time now. Oh, no, no. I, I do cold reads on my channel. It's That way we, we basically read it together for the first time. That makes it fun and interesting and exciting. Uh, my girlfriend has read it, but she's the one been redacting it, so she's aware of the facts. Ty Powers, welcome to the shit show of Otter Creek. Debbie Minton, now you understand the Hell's Save the Child. Yes. Uh, Lisa Jewett, welcome back. This was relayed through text and refutes what she is saying in her petition. Notice how she accused Brett of making a pass at her. That's her M.O., modus operandi. That's how she operates. Jesse says her craziness and grammar hurts my brain. You, make, you and me both, brother. You and me both, or sister. Uh, Gil Montano, she just wrote that she was made aware of a plan to kill someone and stage it as a hunting accident, decided to stay quiet about it. Good catch. Good catch. The hunting. Yes, 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 yes. Good catch. Tyrant alert. Uh, why she is not the, in the psych ward. She needs so much mental help. She needs to lose that child, says Tyrant. Uh, Jenny B. Yet she leaves the child in her home alone with John for hours at a time. Ooh, creepy. Um, Teresa Finn. Haha, ha, tube town. Maureen Wood. Uh, thank you for the two. And same for you, Anna Walker. Thank you for the two. Uh, Vince Clortho, congratulations on getting Danny over, over four. Uh, congratulations on getting Danny over 10K. Thank you so much. And congratulations, Danny. We're going to have a celebration stream hopefully very, very soon. Candace Bingham, thank you again. The child abuse is why I'm involved. I would love to talk to you because there's so much you don't know yet. You have my cell number. There's proof. Thank you. Appreciate it. Uh, Lil Bunny, 2004. And if order in Ohio is 50 states, why is injunction good? I think what you're trying to say, if the Ohio injunction is in all 50 states, why is in Florida enforcing it? Great question. We don't know. Tricky Chai, thank you again. Sounds like kindergarten class teacher should do this teacher did this. Yeah, they're like little children uh, in the way that they behave. Chris Clements, this letter was written for the Ohio hearing. Uh-huh. Uh, Rachel, how can those letters be admissible when unsigned? We'll see. Uh, what the hell helped me the lockdown? During the lockdown, I guess, Juliet Morgan? Thank you. Uh, Debbie Minton, none of these were allowed in court. 
Oh, so there you go. They weren't allowed. Wendy Ingram, he would read them on his live on Sunday night, 7 p.m. That would be so funny. Which, by the way, he's going to be live in about 30 minutes, isn't he? He's going to be live in about 30 minutes. Pepper and C, letter flooding. What the hell's with support? Awesome idea. Yeah, don't forget. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go back in the video or ask the community what uh, we want. We want letters of support for what the hell is this. But don't tell them. Don't tell what the hell. I mean, of course, they're going to figure it out quickly. But it would be so nice if they're just flooded with letters of support for the judge to see. And uh, that would be nice. Letter flooding. What the hell is this? Uh, nothing wrong with that. Everything for a good cause. Scott Gowan, as a Florida resident, I've already emailed my state rep, Dana Trabolsi, to impeach grudge devices. <laughs> um, Donkey Kong, thank you for the 10. Uh, Helen Gall, oh, welcome back. Uh, I wonder if you know Jeremy is not well. Said it on his live this morning from yesterday. What happened? Is he just sick? I mean, it is the season. Oh, comes on at 8. The, the hails are live at 8. Oh, it sucks. I'm going to be live. Well, you can watch them, and then you can come to our live later or vice versa, whatever you guys want to do. So, again, I know a lot of people in the chat are what the hills, uh, subscribers and followers and fans. So if they're going to go live at 8, then go go support them. If you want to watch hours later, I'm not going to be butthurt about it. Honestly, support them first. You, this is what you guys came for. Uh, Wolverine Transparent, and then you come back to our channel and watch my after-the-fact interview. You can watch the, the interview with... Uh, um, what's his name? Aiden Kearney. I'm telling you, it, that's a crazy, crazy story. Another story of corruption in, in Boston, Massachusetts. Uh, he tried to investigate. He believes that Karen Reed is being falsely accused of murder. And I agree with him. I think the police are involved. So definitely check that out. He's going to be on at eight. Happy F the police day, everybody, says Wolverine Transparency. Is that today? 3-3? Three, three? I thought it was F-12. I don't know. Might be missing something. 33? Is 33 code for cop? You must have a photogenic memory. Yes, my memory is very good in photographs. Thank you, Kim Boyko. Donkey Kong, thank you for the two. I believe judge allowed Jeremy to be served in court. Isn't that illegal? Says Cappy Cross. No, sometimes it's not. Debbie Minton, but she never said those words. There you go. Fubar Debiasis. Welcome back. DJ Radis needs to do a Lynette compilation with her only saying, ugh, what the hell fans know why. There you go. Kimberly Schuler. Kimberly Schuler. None of this would be happening if Lynette and John would have stayed in their own lane and stayed out of other people's lives. Keep your personal business to yourself and not telling total strangers. Miss Krim, God forbid the Thomas is still the judge. Well, not for long, maybe. Hold on. Hold that thought because he is not necessarily going to be the judge, maybe, if he gets removed uh, by the, the Court of Appeals. But whoever it should be, but whoever it is should mandate Lynette and Silverman to refile the petition. Is this is nonsense? Harriet Williams. I've watched What the Hills for years. I was hospitalized for 149 days, almost dying. Holy hell! I love your little thing, by the way. It says "Buckle up." Hashtag Buckle up. I love it. Um, I was very depressed. I'm so sorry. What the Hills gave me hope, and I truly believe they have helped save my life. I've actually met them. They are gracious, open, and seem and and nice as they seem online. Damn. He was in Ohio at the time, not Florida. Thank you, Lisa Jewett. Fubar Debias. Uh, there, there's a hole in my bucket, dear liar, dear liar. There's a hole in my bucket, dear liar, a hole. <laughs> I hope I did that justice. Bunny Mom says, "Sorry, off topic. Do you have a cat? Yes, I do. She's." Was underneath me. Now she's in the other room. I have 12 right now. That's a lot of cats. And now I took three yesterday. They're approximately three to four years old. Mom got hit and killed, so I'm bottle feeding them. Good for you. Holy, that's a lot of cats. Bunny mom, but good for you for taking care of them. Uh, Lonnie Buggy Bug, thank you for your generosity. Uh, Linda Evers, welcome to her crazy town. Yeah, no kidding. Uh, Lulu's mom. Text supporting Lynette's character, having never met her, 
is a dangerous game. Delusional woman. They all said they don't know her. Manipulating the court is obviously not a smart idea. Deborah Hatchins, thank you for the buck. And again, don't forget to like this video if you like this content. Comment below. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell so you get notified. Join on as a member and also super chat uh, if you'd like. Like, let's see some of our new members. We got Tom Heastand, as well as Shane Cook, uh, Greg Austin, Robert Henderson, Froggy Girl, Joan Feather, FF Taz, World Explorer, Lacey Ann, Wonder Dust, Vince Clortho, Caroline B, uh, Linda Main, Ty Cutting, and Amanda Carter. Welcome back and welcome to all of you. Next, Della Santor says, report judicial misconduct, Florida Judicial Qualifications Commission, the JQC. They investigate complaints against any level judge in Florida. Contact info is on the internet. Connie B says, and yet Judge Dump Thomas gave her hearing with this garbage. I mean, he's just doing his job or supposed to be doing his job, which he never did. Gil Montano says the second RV was uh, the stolen one. An ex-friend, something about now in the dumpster and Lynette stealing. Don't know anything about it. Uh, Jesse says Porky Pig, the, 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 that's all, folks. Uh, Mary Thurston, thank you for the two. Shelly Hall says, yes, the child's grandmother and aunts contacted Jeremy. Yep. Now we have proof. And she included it, the idiot. Claire Kershaw, I don't have any brain cells, but Lynette has less than I do. That is scary. That's funny. That You're funny. Uh, Timothy J. Tanner, can you see why Feather thought Judge would throw it out in the first day in 15 minutes? Sure, I'll look into that. Mary Thurston, thank you for the two. Save the child. Uh, Micheline Williams, welcome back. Thank you very much. Uh, Dowie Bezima, do, Dewey Bezima. Uh, I think I know he lost once with a dancer. Now he wants to win. Okay. Thank you. Mary Thurston. She said that she knew nothing about John pointing guns, but in the papers, she said she did. Exactly. More contradictions. This is better than TV, says Robert Henderson. Uh, RJ Medic. Oh, welcome back to the channel. How you doing? I would... I would have been amazed if Judge Simpson, 14B, Middleton, 3B, and Brian, 36, would give their view on this. There you go. Della Santor, uh, illiteracy, uh, L equals illiteracy, dimension, social media, culture, sad. Uh, Ginger Gravoy, how can the judge read this and not see through her? I don't think he read it yet, bud. I don't think he did. Uh, biker dude 221 cx about unlimited immunity state judges are supreme beings but you can win declaratory relief 42 usc it's a 1983 claim maybe in some cases that might be possible uh dan davis can you imagine having her as a client dui guy no i don't even want to for a single second the, my brain will rot away and leak out my right ear like <laughs> pumpkin farm thank you for the two love bugs 52 thank you for the two as well uh, Joanne Wall says, think about the emotional trauma to the child. Exactly. I'm telling you, this is where it really, really, really hurts the most. Robin Murphy, FYI, John must get Social Security survival benefits. You can get them from Social Services or Social Security, even if you are divorced for when you turn 60 and your ex is deceased. Survival benefits. So if he marries, he loses his survival benefits. See, this is the kind of stuff I don't know. You guys are, are lawyers in your own right. That's right, because I don't do Social Security work as an attorney. You know, people think like, you're an attorney. You know the law. You know all the law. No, you don't as an attorney. You learn the law, and you know the law that you are constantly involved with, and hopefully you know it backwards and forwards. Like criminal defense law, uh, I know backwards and forwards. DUI law, I can literally, you can wake me up 3 o'clock in the morning in the middle of the night and say, you need to go try this case, and I probably will be able to and probably win. It's just who I am. I'm I'm very well versed in in my arena. I'm also very good per at personal injury. I can't wait to try my first car accident case, which hopefully will be happening later this year. Um, 
But social security stuff, I, I don't know anything about. So you're right. It does. But when you say it, it's like, oh, yeah, that's right. You get those things. You know, survival benefits is something that a person receives after their spouse is deceased, even though you uh, they're no longer alive, you get survival benefits. But if you remarry, I believe you lose those survival benefits. So the fact that he chose, John chose not to remarry after his spouse dis, uh, died, passed away, goes to show that he, he may not be like defrauding, you know, the social security uh, uh, of the United States of America, but uh, he is literally dodging and avoiding. Um, thankfully, he doesn't live in a, thankfully for him, he doesn't live in a common law marriage state because then it would be fraud. Uh, but there may be some other stuff going on. But survival benefits, that, that explains why they haven't gotten married. Social Security survival benefits. Uh, they were married and now they're divorced because he probably realized that um, he's going to lose their his benefits. Wow, that's crazy. Um, Susan Steiner, thank you very much for the 20. Thank you for your generosity. Uh, Risa Murphy, in her depot, she says her name is Michelle, yet on the court document says Lynette. How is this allowable? Different names. Also, you will make a great dad one. Oh. Also, you'll make a great dad one day. I'll take it. Thank you. Uh, I'm already a good cat dad, according to Chandler. So, Crook and the child spend hours upon hours in that Jeep during court. She still wears a diaper at four, and she calls her mommy, save her. Thank you, Cher Carr. Uh, Helen Gall, thank you again. Rather terrifying, said red things in the loo this morning. Okay, thank you. Uh, Joanne C. JoJo's Adventure is gifted five to you all. Shout out in the chat if you got a membership from Joanne C. JoJo. And Bob B. also gifted one to you all. So hopefully, uh, if you got it, shout it out. Um, Marquita Cassidy, thank you for joining on as a member. And also, I think you upgraded your membership because you appear here twice. So thank you for that. And Sapphire Sky also became a member. And Marcy Collins, HTD for Life, thank you so much for your uh, support and generosity of the channel. Constitutional Freedom Fighter, sent email. I hope you'll cover it. I will check it out. Thank you very much. Shasta's Corner is obvious that her writing, that's her writing on that sign. Thank you. Uh, Patriotic for Life, Mima. Is the Court of Appeals in Tallahassee? Can you please find out? I will. Uh, or wait, I, I believe I can tell you right now. Is the Supreme Court in Tallahassee? Because it's it's got the address at the top. Uh, appendix, other motion, docketing statement. Petition acknowledgement. Yeah, it's in Tallahassee. Yeah, here. For those of you who uh, are interested... <clears throat> There. That's the address of the Court of Appeals. Okay. Uh, how does Liar get silver? The judge get them together? Maybe. I don't know. Hales are on at 8, not at 7. Okay, so in an hour, 15 minutes. Good to know. So I don't have to rush too much. But uh, Gil Montano, thanks again. Should more people be aware that the leader of Scientology, leader David Miskovich's wife, hasn't been seen in public since August 2007? 17 years? Wow. It's crazy. Um, Jennifer Whitaker, confused I can join what they Yours. I'm, I don't know what's going on. Bear with me. Technical difficulties. Can you all still hear me? Let me know if you all can still hear me. Okay, you can hear me, but you can't see me. Let me let me reset this real quick. I think my phone may be uh, overheating. Since I use my phone as the camera, 
it's a, it's a really good camera. Let me try this. <clears throat> Connect, okay. It's not connecting. Why is it not connecting? Huh, okay, I'm just gonna stop the camera and we're gonna finish it like this. I'm sorry, you all, I don't know what's going on. My, that has never happened before. I mean, sometimes it glitches, but okay, let's just finish this up so I can, uh, so I can fix it for later. On members only this morning, Helen Gall, thank you very much. Uh, Deborah Dharma Akron, you can't make this shit up. Hashtag buckle up. I agree. Thank you for the super sticker, Frank Watcher. Wow, ADHD at its best. I just sounded like Lynette, says RJ Medic. Uh, Marquita Cassidy, thank you so much. Uh, supporting what the hells? Absolutely, always. Uh, Marsha Yarborough, uh, could her lawyer drop her if he find out that she was lying? I mean, sure, maybe. Um, Jack's mom, Florida is a state that allows civil RICO. They should get them all in one swoop. The criminal enterprise that is Lynette and Russ use. Uh, Debbie Childers, call me about Lynette. Need you to check it out. Uh, Colleen West, 1944, how could she carry a gun with an order against her? Exactly. Amy Q, thank you for joining on as a member. Same goes for you, Chris Weaver. Uh, 2024, he missed stream. Sorry, was busy. I hope you're well. No worries. Welcome. Uh, Rachel McCullough, oh, married 29 years and divorced at 62. Get half of his Social Security. There it is. There you go. Okay. All right. That catches us up, you guys. Sorry for the uh, internet. Uh, glitching or whatever. I, I think Lynette and I have broken the internet. Um, so I'll get that fixed. And um, until then, you guys uh, go enjoy the um, the show with the Haleses. And uh, yeah, I am very, very happy and excited. <laughs> That's what happens when you talk about Scientology. They'll cut your stream off. There you go. That's probably what happened. So thank you guys so much, and I will see you all at 8 with Aiden Kearney. We're going to talk about the uh, the latest with his situation about the Karen Reed case. Don't forget to like this video, comment below, subscribe to the channel. I love you guys, and uh, I will see you in an hour with me and my... You finally get to meet my girlfriend, Remy Legal. <laughs> Exciting stuff. All right, see you soon. Bye-bye.